Hello everyone, and welcome back to Temptations of Aitse with What Team Cop, where we have more and more D&D tomfoolery, shenanigans, and fun. Are you guys ready to jump right in? Ready. Um, I, 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 <laughs> sorry. No, you're not. Fly in my face. Right where you can't see it. Um, Gosh. Um, um, Okay. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you are in troll mode. Oh, Sorry, I'm, I'm just tired at the moment. You're fine. Being uh, weird. You're fine. Uh, Zadeen currently is running a little bit late, but we will do our best to try and help him out when he gets in here to fill him in on what he misses. Uh, that man got a J-O-B! Mmm, I want one of those. <laughs> that being said... Left off, you guys had been looking around the city trying to figure out what was all was going on and with the nobles specifically. And then, after deciding to utilize your resources, deciding that you guys were going to try and speak with the nobles uh, tomorrow and try and get a, a better foundation to work with, try and figure out what you could do to try and either take them down from the inside or get the warlocks to come in to act as a pseudo army to help them. Uh, looking through the eyes of Arcus and with Kalir just kind of walking past and just seeing it from a distance, uh, you guys noticed that there was some commotion that occurred, causing part of the noble's estate to be destroyed. And you got to have a chance where Arcus basically just sat in a corner and just watched the goings-on for a while of these people seeming to deal with this got a better understanding of the nobles, eh, slightly at least, at least between each other. And eventually, Arcus came back home. So, if you'd like, we can just move straight on into morning. Unless you guys have something you want to speak of in the night. I think I already broke the drink. So I think we're good for the shock for tonight. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he worships the same god as you. <laughs> Excuse? <laughs> <laughs> there is a reason that she said to grab the alcohol. <laughs> I don't see why he's confused. Isn't uh, his god one of the major gods of the, uh, like, pan? Isn't he a greater deity? Yes. Yeah, he is but a when you tell deity. someone that a paladin who is working with warlocks worships the same god as you, it kind of shocks the fuck out of you. Yeah, that's not what he expected. <laughs> He thought he knew his order. <laughs> Technically, he ain't part of your order! Um, I guess not, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> As I said before, it's like the fucking splinter cell pals. <laughs> and we come in when everything's going to shit! <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> yes. So? Morning eventually will come. What? She's oh. sick. She's she sick her at her butt. She uh -oh. so She's like breaking down over how adorable. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I was muted earlier because I was You're just fine. talking to him and dying. <laughs> oh my god. Continue. As morning has come, and you're able to try and get your bearings, I'll leave you to deciding what you guys want to do. Kalea uh, wakes up pretty early um, and will get breakfast with some more orange juice. Bo does not come downstairs. Oh lord. Oh dear. How rhythmic of you. I, I mean, suppose Kalea would probably notice at some point during the day. Uh, I mean, Bear Drake usually it, gets up. So he'll be downstairs soon too. Navarro always comes down when Bo is there, so she'll, like, come down 
look around and then head up to knock on Bo's door, because what the fuck? I mean, Zadim's probably already down, too. I'm gonna eat with Kalir. Just there's, yay. <laughs> there's no response at the door. All right, and they were rooming together. So what the? F I just know Zadim wakes up. Period. So Zadim's yeah. probably down. <laughs> probably. So come back downstairs. So I don't know what state he's in, but he's not answering the door, and he's usually awake before I am. He's not in the room. I, I can't open the room. He's not opening the door. You're implying the door is locked. Yeah, yeah, he's like, is the door locked? <laughs> She's sitting here looking at him like, no, the door ain't locked, but I have a sense for people's privacy. <laughs> how, how do I unlock this door? Now, if I was sitting here like, am I the only motherfucker who just doesn't open people's doors? What the fuck? <laughs> if you're gonna answer and you're worried about it, door. <sighs> So she's just kind of like so obvious to him. She's she's looking wildly like uncomfortable. Like oh, hey, she'll head back up and and open the door or try to. She's very uncomfortable with this idea. You see a small halfling just laying on the bed, no sh like no covers on him, a uh, hat on top of the face. He is now covered in tat. Is he breathing? <laughs> yeah. Stomach's moving. Chest, like chest is moving. Oh. Mm-hmm. How are you doing there? Not great. Do you want to talk about it, or do you want me to just leave you be? I'll be down in a bit. All right. She'll head out and close the door. She still looks uncomfortable. <laughs> really doesn't like the invasion of privacy. You'll come down like 30 to 45 minutes later. Just sit down, head in hands. Is his arm... Okay, I was gonna say hands, so he doesn't have his claw. No, he ain't got nope. the claw. Okay. His claw gone. So it's still gone. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Um. I'm you see, gonna, as he's it. walking up, by the way, he's heavily leaning to his right side. Hmm. Is that the side where his claw was on, or the opposite? Uh, opposite. Yeah, he's probably right. compensating. Yeah. Um. Kelly probably would have finished her breakfast, so she's gonna cast uh, ritual cast attack magic. I just gotta look at Bo. Same traces. Any uh, any changes? Uh, only slight ones, and those are around the tattoos, which, so far as you wear, those were there before. And by that, I mean the magic. Ah. Uh, but it was already tried, magic. like, resummoning the claw. That ain't work. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, nothing Kelly can do, so she's just gonna drink more orange juice. <laughs> God, I wish it was tea. <laughs> mm, not for Claire. She has a, shall we say, herbal remedy. Make of that what you will. <laughs> the concern is real. She has her more remedy remedies for many things. Though she has no idea if they work or not. <clears throat> she could formally oh. test it, but she doesn't really try. <laughs> Only one way to find out! Swallow a salve. Yeah, it's like you can't exactly <laughs> you can't exactly record data when you're high off your ass or something like that. <laughs> Just like the, the world, this definitely wasn't nice. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you technically can because Alex made some really damn good whiskey while drunk off her ass. So yeah, but that was the 
that that was her dad's alcohol, which is probably laced with some weird shit. <laughs> Just because you might be right or might be wrong doesn't mean anything. He's not wrong. <laughs> There's What's probably a reason why it's called his dad's best alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, that's a different campaign. Yeah. Once everyone's done eating, um, Naval kind of glanced towards the door. Should we head towards their mansion now so that we can discuss taking that job? Sure. Bo stands up. Job? Oh, the, the... The nobles and the warlock. Yeah, going off north. East. Okay. No, it's, it's a... It's, it's a Coke. <laughs> you know? It's like the original Coca-Cola recipe, only with ale. God damn it! God damn it! Um... Vierdrick will glance at Bo and be like, Are you still up to it? Sure. I didn't plan on talking either way. He he frowns, but he doesn't say <laughs> Sorry. I'm also glancing over Bo's shoulder, Vierdrick like, Oh. Wait, what did Beatrix do? I heard frown and say something. So did he frown even more than usual? That's a good question. <laughs> a little more frown. A little more frown. In my in my mind, he has hard RBF. Am I? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely. Right. It's chronic in my mind. Like it's chronic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just like it's become so funny when Beatrix goes. He frowns. I just imagine Bo looking oh, at shit, him. Oh shit, even more? <laughs> I just imagine Bo will eventually look at him and just go, I didn't know your fucking mouth could turn down that much. Well, at least the quest should serve as a distraction for you. Sure. Better than stewing in your own head. Mm hmm. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, her just shrugs and heads to the door. <laughs> she doesn't know how to deal with this one. Someone just lost a limb, but they regained it. Yeah. He lo he looks at me just like looking, opening and closing his hand. The one that Not was the claw or the it. normal one? Yeah, the one that the one that it was is the claw. He's like opening and closing it and just messing with. Yeah, that must feel weird. Mm-hmm. Have you heard from your goddess yet? I think so. It's good that she's talking to you then. Mm-hmm. Bows looks to be paying most attention to you. Not f No, his mind's somewhere else. <laughs> Considering She'll head to the. T I guess she's fucking walking first. She'll head to the mansion. Yeah, I guess. Uh, and the plan was clear and. Um. Jadim. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm like Adrino. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right name. Uh, are are going to be standing out somewhere. Yeah, they basically say it and outside is back up just in case something blows up <laughs> again. Okay. Um, yeah, Beardrick will, uh, just follow, I guess. Once they're, I want to say, like, 120 feet from the gate. Narval turned to Bo. Bo, how long is that spell that you said you were going to cast? I was going to cast a spell. Oh, Our uh, plan was to cast a spell that would 
improve um, how I can talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. What one was there? He said the actual term for it, but now I have to try and remember yeah. it desperately. <laughs> well, I think it was enhanced abilities. I believe so. Yeah, it was enhanced ability. Um, yeah, I can give that to you. How close were you to the mansion? We were about 120. Alright, yeah. Casted it on her. Just a second. Fox cunning. Much appreciated. I believe Fox Cunning. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is it Fox Cunning that's Christmas uh, checks? No, that's Eagle Splendor. That's no, that's, in checks. that's intelligent. Oh, uh, yeah, Eagle Splendor then, sorry. Why the fuck is an Eagle charismatic? I don't know. <laughs> it's the most righteous animal you can think of off the top of your head. <laughs> she nods her head and thanks and walks up to the guards. Excuse me. Wait, are they fake armor or are they real? Make a perception check. May I speak to your manager? That's not even my passive 14. Uh, looking, you like kind of like bend your knees ever so slightly to look up through the eye slots and you see nothing there. Ah, of course. I could have told you that. <laughs> what? I did. Last night. Stay yeah, but woke. I thought they would switch with real guards. Oh. Uh, nah. I, I don't think they're that kind of people. You did say they responded to people talking, though, you correct? You need to go inside? You hear someone from... Uh, up on the tower, just kind of like leaning forward, seeming to rec realize someone's out front, looks down at you. Uh, yes, actually. And you are expected? We are hoping to do a job that we've heard the nobles were having trouble with. Okay. Open the game! Wait, no, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> he like looks around, and then he's like, wait, no, that's me. And she you know, like, looks. Uh, she looks to Beatrix. Is that the same guard from last night? Kalea palms her face. <laughs> Is that the same guard from last night, Don? Uh, not as far as you can tell. So she'll look back at Beatrix. Okay, I take it back. There's two stupid guards. And she'll turn back to the gate. Um, there's the hole around. I suppose not. As you enter, walking in, uh, yeah. There's a hole in the wall of the <laughs> estate. Hmm. It's sizable enough that you can see inside, but you also can see that they have uh, armored entities looking like they're moving through trying to begin patching it up. It's clearly not something that they were working as an overnight fix, and they're apparently willing to just let this just kind of be there. Yeah, we gotta attack, fucking do something! Christ Almighty. When you get up to the front gates, there's another set of guards who don't seem to respond to your approaching besides uh, one of them reaching for, like, reaching their arm out, like, arm bar style, and then just pulling their hand back and tung, tung, tung on the door and before moving it back into position. After uh, about two minutes, the, uh, someone comes to the door and opens it up and you see a butler-esque looking person they give you kind of a quick once over and give a slight nod and who might you be well currently we're mercenaries but we had heard that your employers were running into an issue that no one seemed to want to deal with we thought we'd offer our services You see him like slowly straighten himself up, put his hands behind his back as he stares at you. 
fabulous. And who are you? Asking my name or the groups? Either or. Just a name that I can let them know who has arrived. I'm Nivar. Nivar. And you speak for your team, I would presume. She nods her head. In the back of her head, she hear Veerdra glaring. <laughs> <laughs> He's keeping his mouth shut. <laughs> Very well. Please come inside. Mind uh, your footing. We had a, a scuffle with a creature that ran amok for a bit, and it's done absolute terror to the floor. I was that wondering what that hole was. Uh, just a creature that should not have managed to make its way through the city, but luckily it appears to have not gotten loose on anyone else's property yet. Which is a blessing to everyone else. Otherwise, if you don't I'm mind sure me asking, that, uh, that'd be worse damage. You may ask. Do you happen to see it? Myself? Oh no, it was not my turn for watch. Did I you hear what it looks like, per chance? Large, I know. strong enough to be able to rip through a hole through the building. Things of that nature. Of course. So keep following him. He kind of motions over, and there's some couches that look to be remarkably undamaged. Granted, they're also <laughs> set next to a couch that looks like it was shredded, and part of it is just dust. I love seeing scenarios like that where everything looks pristine and fine, and then you pan the camera over two inches, and there's the chaos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's basically what it appears to have done. They have, they set up this little sitting room area that there's like, here's a, a, a respite, and then chaos everywhere else. Uh, the couch, just so you are aware, uh, is facing towards the, um, the window, so it's facing towards the outside, and the stairway of whoever will be coming is a little bit further behind, so you would not be able to actually see up the stairway to see them coming down. Of course, they want to take by surprise if something horrible happens. <laughs> I'll still sit on the couch. <laughs> Everyone else is trying to seat themselves as well? Uh, I'm going to stand by the couch. I'm not sitting. <laughs> okay, I'm sitting. <laughs> You're standing kind of on the arm of it, because if you tried to stand behind it, you just wouldn't see anything. Oh, yeah, no, not behind it. it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's big enough Midget, that, you're not that tall. <laughs> medium to large creatures would be able to, you know, sit down and still have a firm rest for their back. For a small creature like yourself, yeah, no, you need to stand by the arm, because your height goes maybe a little bit lower than the arm rest. Oh, Lord! Well, so, if I was sitting on the couch, I higher up actually. If you're sitting yes. on the couch your feet would dangle and I, I don't know. know. It looks really bad. I'm just standing. <laughs> I don't know if Nivara has the self-control. The whole you're right, the self-control to not look at you. <laughs> I mean, that's how it is when he sits at bars and shit, I'm sure, but I'm not gonna do That's that why right I say I don't think she has the self-control. <laughs> yeah. She's gotten used to the stools. This is just <laughs> Yeah, he's just gonna stand. He looks more imposing. <laughs> Navar is trying to sit as pristine as possible. If Virgil glances over, he can see that she hates it. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to keep the air of, like, cleanliness and nobility, and you can see her eye twitch every now and again. So, did Kalir and... Oh my god, Zadim follow in with us? I thought they were gonna wait right outside. I thought they did. They if, did, right? Yeah. If Clear chose okay. to was, do so, then Zadim would be out there as well. That was the plan, to have them sit outside just in case something happened. Was the, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she would be outside with... So it's the three of you inside. Is Bo sitting? Bo sitting. Yeah, Bo sitting. Okay. Um, after a little bit, you hear a thump, 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 as you hear the sound of someone not being very slow about it, not being super regal about it. Just someone just kind of just like taking every single step on their way down. As you see, uh, which sounds like they hit every step on the way down. Damn. 
Well, they hit it with their foot, so they didn't hit it with their body like you're thinking. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. You thought they fell down the stairs. <laughs> I saw a satellite for a second! Um, <laughs> just imagine over our here is somebody walking down the stairs. Damn, they sound like they fell. <laughs> uh, glancing, if you do you glance over your shoulder? Or yeah. You, yeah okay. So you glance over your shoulder. Uh, you would know that this is not the Lord of the House, uh, just because you saw their back at the very least through Arcus's eyes. Uh, they are well dressed, though. They look to be lordly perhaps a lesser noble, meant to take care of affairs. Uh, but they, uh, clearly they're a lesser lord because their shirt's slightly undone. Their dress is a little unkempt. Their hair's a little bit messy. Uh, they look like they were awoken and just kind of slapped on whatever was nearby. And uh, not the most fully kept of people or individuals, rather. But he gives you a kindly smile. He just kind of doesn't really saunter, he just kind of sways a little bit. Maybe he was out drinking the night before, you're not fully sure. Do I smell alcohol on him? No, you're not, because you're sitting, sitting down. Okay. <laughs> he just kind of walks past Veerdra, kind of gives a little pause as he, he just keeps walking, but kind of like looks down at Veerdra, just like, ah, oh, neat. <clears throat> Takes a seat. Oof. I hate this chair. <clears throat> Pushes himself up. Forgive me, it's been a night, and I was helping out with some of the issues, and now you're here. Hi. Seems sore. I was helping with some of the issues last night, and it's more that I went to sleep more on one part of me than the other, and it, uh, just, uh, you know, you know what it can be. And if you don't, then clearly you haven't slept in a bad bed. I understand the struggle very well. Good, good. It's nice to know that people are people. I'm sorry, and you are... She'll hold her hand out to him. He's uh, on the other side of the table, so when you do that, he just kind of looks at your hand like, Right, hold on, I'll come around. Yep. Mm. No worries, simple enough. How big is that table? Damn, I misjudged. Uh, it's like nine feet across. So he's he's also having to get oh. back up out of the comfy chair. She'll stand up. No? The, bi the bigger the table. She'll stand up and walk over to him. The sweeter the juice. No! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Ah, uh, Kinrir. Spell it. <laughs> I need that fucking spell. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. A keeper of the morning estates. It's nice to meet you. I'm Navarra. Navarra. Lovely name. Not from around here. Not one common, but, uh... I imagine that you're just... Having a good time. Going through here. Well, we're actually looking for work. Really now? You're looking for work? That's fabulous. What kind of work are you looking for? Unless, oh, actually, you, you must be here about... Hmm. The higher-ups issue. Yes. That's understandable. That's fair. That's, uh... That's, uh... Does he have any idea what I'm talking about? He's he's he make an inside check. Also, now that I'm shaking his hand, do I smell alcohol on him or is he just sore as fuck? What? You said I wasn't close enough to see if I could smell alcohol. Do I smell alcohol on him now that I'm like shaking his hand? No. Okay, so he's just sore as fuck. All right. And he's sizing you all up, from what you can tell. Like, he's like, he's not like checking you out, sort of sizing you up. He, like, his eyes are looking over all of you individually. He's trying to figure out if we're good enough to do this job. Kind of. Rest assured that despite my lovely face, I'm quite a danger. You'd be 
be surprised how often looking at someone and forgetting that they have hands is a dangerous thing indeed. <laughs> what? Have you not had that happen? Goodness. Granted. Well, typically people to... don't forget I have hands because I'm hitting them with this and she'll point to the stick. <laughs> nice stick. <laughs> uh, you should see, uh... You should see our butlers. I give a... As she pulls out a stick, Bo just gives a slight wave of the hand. <laughs> He's like, just like, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I use magic, goddammit. I figured that we would be more... Well, no one's taking the job, but I figured that we could potentially handle it, considering. She'll kind of nod towards Veerdrick. Beardrick is as stone-faced as he ever is. <laughs> <laughs> Draw, we better hunt warlocks than a paladin. Fair enough. Were you looking for some kind of information that we have had, or...? That would be very nice. There's only so much information you can get from a quest board, so we thought that taking it from the source would be better. But what information were you looking to get? We know their last location, but is there anything specific we should be looking for? Other than, of course, destroyed temples. As a sign that they have been around? From what I've been... told... And believe me when I say I wish I'd been told more to be able to help you with this, but... Well... The area around their destruction appears to be have gone... I suppose the only real explanative word might be... Muckish? There, it'll Jeez, be very discernible, apparently. They they said that if you are able to miss it, you must be as blind as the beggar down the street, which I find to be an incredible insult. The beggar down the street is quite a sweet person who just needs to get back onto his feet. She shakes her head. Anything else? Is this a trail that falls them, or simply where they have destroyed sites? Say again? She's asking, like, if the area is muckish in places that they've just trailed, or if it's just around the sites. Oh, it seems to have spread out. The sites seem to be an epicenter of it, but... Hang on, I'm writing that down. Of course. They can't make it easy now, can they? Why would they? They're being hunted. True. That being said, that seems to be the strangest thing. In fact, mm -hmm. my... Uh, my lords have been discussing a very odd possibility, which I've never once heard myself, but then again, uh, the ones who asked him to bring this to the attention of the mercenaries' guild were the clerics. The thing is, so far as I can tell, my lord does not believe the warlocks to be the cause. Oh? What does he think is the cause, then? He doesn't if he know. told you. He told me that he does not believe that this stain that's left behind would indicate warlocks. If anything, it may just be something that is following them, perhaps even hunting them, which obviously no skin off my nose if uh, their power is gone, but they are still people, people who perhaps made poor choices, and perhaps they find it to be great choices. I'm not one to judge. I go out with hookers sometimes. You have to do a shot in the dark sometime. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, looks confused. 
No, no, Bo! Deirdrick uh, has not changed expression. Bo is hard at <laughs> hiding his emotions. He has his five charisma, man. No worries. <laughs> he, he notices it. He looks at Naivara and just like, I'm going to tell him. <laughs> she just like shakes her head and mouths, no. <laughs> but <laughs> I know what a hooker is. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you know what a hooker is, and all right, I was just—I was concerned there for a second. I thought you hadn't lived uh, lived in a big city before, and uh, I'm a sailor. I've seen a few in my day. I just turned them down. There you, the best there you part go. Kalea probably doesn't know what a hooker is. <laughs> oh God! Two sides of the coin. One who's like, no, nah, I've seen it. The other one who's just like, what? <laughs> but she's outside with the team. Uh-huh. Uh, that being said, uh, and this is why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Sadim, actually, hey Matt. Hey Matt! Hey, man. You arrived! Oh, hey! Mandrino has arrived. That being said, if it is Warlocks, obviously your job is to remove the issue. Attacking clergies and such, I mean, so far as I'm aware, they've done nothing wrong. I mean, they're just helping the people in that area. Helping with harvest, helping to keep them up on their feet, you know. Being the helpful sorts. But if it's not Warlocks and you have some way to prove it, I mean, we're going to pay you the same price. Just all depends on how good you are at actually doing your damn job. Do you know which temples they've attacked? Uh, no, I was not given that information. <laughs> See, oh, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I understand. I know they went towards Wheat Valley, but... Well, there's that's a few what cities along the look, way. I suppose. Yeah, there's a few cities along the way that m you might be able to check out, but they're pretty out of the way. I mean, you, I mean, you could technically still make like a a journey around to them, but not as fast. Of course. So, fully stand up because I feel like she probably just sat down again because she ain't standing that entire time. Obviously, he sat down. He would have expected you to as well. And she'll hold her hand out to him. <laughs> <sighs> Gets out of it. I hate that damn chair. How tall is he? Uh, he's he's tall. Like, let's say six foot six. Whoa. A little bit lanky, but otherwise he's got like that that. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how to. It's I want to say lithe build where he's kind of like got runner's the, body. A what? Runner's body. Yeah, that's good. I was I was I was trying to debate between runners and swimmers, but yeah, he's got more of a runner's body. Kind of swimmers are actually kind of built. Yeah, swimmers are built, but he has more leg build than arm build, and it kind of shows. But he takes your hand, gives it a firm handshake. You can tell your lords that there's a group on the job. Oh, damn time. Most of the people seem to be avoiding that thing. Then again, most people don't want to be doing the clergy's work so uh, unofficially once they figure that part out. Then again, <laughs> the clergy is not the one paying them. So I'm glad that someone here is smart. <laughs> oh, flattery will get you nowhere so quickly. Oh, that'll get me everywhere, though. Take care of yourself. Be nice to see you again. She'll and, wave uh, and gesture for Bow and Beardrick to follow her, and, but uh, she starts sir, to leave. And, uh, Sir Paladin. Yes? I understand that you're going to be doing your job, same as everyone else, getting things done. Uh, please do understand that, uh, if it is not the warlocks uh, you're not getting paid for extra heads just uh, the job I understand nah bro I just need to make that clear and apparent some uh, some people listen to the clergy more than their employer just want to make sure that it was where for you and uh, motions towards Bo and Naivara your companions so if you're going on a on this as a crusade. Just something to keep in mind. He just nods. Gives you a, a little, like, one finger salute. Alright, well, uh, I'll lead you back to the door, and, uh, good luck! It is a priest. I'll be keeping an eye out for any, uh, special doors that look. Make a perception check. Now I'll okay. keep Kinra occupied by talking to him so Bo can do his thing. I'm not going sneak around. I'm well, just, he's looking. just looking yeah, from just, where he's standing. Just so he won't notice you looking around like you casing a joint. Exactly. 
Japan. Uh, looking around, trying to get a quick view of the place, if there is a secret passage that might be hidden around here, this place is chaos. It is broken in so many ways that just look, trying to quickly take a peek around, you would need to see this place again after it's cleaned up. And with that, you guys are led back to the door. Uh, Kinrir gives you a, a, another little nod of his head, kind of leans on the door frame, watches you guys go. And you guys are able to meet back up with Kalir and Zadim. Oh, that's good. I'm glad that went smooth. She, Naivara just takes a deep breath. And once she released it, she actively shudders. <sighs> I hate dealing with bubbles. <laughs> well. Weird. That one better than I expected, though. Uh, what you missed was that they went, they spoke with uh, the people at the noble's estate, uh, the keeper of the estate of the morning estate uh, Kinrear was the one they spoke with and basically when they were discussing uh, what they were doing they were told that the mission to remove the warlocks was given by the clerics but the nobles are more interested in the actual cause of what has been attacking the clergies and believes that something is causing a muck around these temples and wants you to investigate them it's spawn in pokemon I'm sorry <laughs> then then <laughs> the dog is barking. So I'm assuming we should head to the end, pack our stuff, and start heading towards Wheat Fell again. You guys can also grab any items that you re require from this area. Uh, this area does have uh, items that you can procure. Basically, most things from the player's handbook, there will be a store for what you're looking for if you want to grab those before you leave. Should I acquire a weapon now that I no longer have my claw? Don't want to have your what? Claw. I no longer have my claw, which was my weapon. No, I thought you said something else. I mean, it can't hurt. Is I'm I'm not running low on money. It's just that uh, you I spent to buy a diamonds? lot on dime. I've already spent money on diamonds, and it kind of left me a little dry after I bought something else. I don't mind buying you a weapon. I'd appreciate it. Well, and I will go weapon shopping. Okay. Also me. All right. <laughs> Matt just comes in from the east. I wonder why. You just imagine, like, you know that, like, stereotypical scene where it's like the girl runs in and out of, like, the dressing room with the different clothes on? Just imagine that, but with Bo and the rest of them with weapon. <laughs> oh Some girls man. take a beautiful girl. Why? And give happened? her a hammer weapon. to beat up the world. Girl! Done! They're going to go find <laughs> weapons. You got way too into that. Uh, any I do what I want. Weapons, like magic or Paris girls just want to have fortress, like magic. Stuff. Well, see magic what they have, but magic. Ah, uh, Kalil will come along. She might find something. Okay. I guarantee Bo is now the uh, poorest in the party, though. I can almost oh, guarantee. Absolutely. I don't oh, know absolutely. about Kalir. I don't know Kalir's money stack, how she's looking, because I feel like she's Kalir's trying to look money bitch. stack. <laughs> money stack. Kalir's sitting over here with, like, big-ass bags of gold, just like, oh, no, I'm broke. Um, what, was, was Bo broke? <laughs> I've spent money on things. Uh, Some of them to keep you people... Okay, wait, okay, I forgot. I forgot it was the shells that was giving me some of my stuff. Okay, I thought I was going to buy even more stuff for spells. No, 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 no. That was from... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's the shell. Like, God. I was about to just go, oh, no. <laughs> I am going to go potion shopping. Okay. 
Okay. Kalea would like some potions, actually. That's, that's, that is one thing. Okay. Um, he doesn't mind the comp. He doesn't mind Clear's company. Let me think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you were almost about to say he doesn't mind company, but yeah. <laughs> that would have been a fat lie. <laughs> Let's not lie to everyone here now. Hmm. <laughs> um, she would also want to, I guess, just go ma magic item shopping or magic, uh, or, or magic weapon shopping. I say we, let's just stick as a team together. So just in case someone wants something from one of the shops, we can get it. Mm -hmm. Beardrake's walking off on his own. He's, he doesn't care about that. <laughs> He's not going to sit around at the weapon shop with you guys. Um. He's a big man. If you want to go with him, go with him. I mean... Mm. Well, she wants to peruse magic weapons and items, so... Alright, then he can She'll hand... Walk. She'll hand Beardrake 100 gold. And ask if he would buy two. Uh, actually, would I know how much a healing potion costs? Just like a regular mm -hmm. one. Depends on where Where's you're getting it, it from. <sighs> Some people like just spike those prices, my fellow. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, healing potions come. So. Let's go get them healing potions. Get the potions. Crying inside. <laughs> Which are you gonna go try and go get first? We can split up. Y'all can, like, yeah. okay. I kind of wanted to do it Heck as a team because I might want to buy potions with a little bit of money I have left. Well, no, I got a good bit of money. I could buy some stuff with it. I just, I'm trying to be conservative, just in case things go wrong. I'll go with Beardrick and get some potions. Don't worry, I'll spend my own money on it. Wait, so, why okay. are you going there now? <laughs> so, because a lot of people want a weapon shop, and the only reason that Navarro's going with Bo is because she's going to pay for his weapon, which, by the way, she gets 50 gold for it. You can just keep the 50 gold, it's fine. This is the one time that I'll insist. If we're going to a magical shop, that's not going to buy nothing. Are you hoping to buy a magic weapon? It sounds like we're going to a magic shop. So, I don't know. Shrugs. Have we made a decision on where we're going? Well... Oh. Beardrake's gonna go ahead and start walking. <laughs> they can decide whatever they want. She'll drop 500 gold in Bo's hand. That should buy you a cheap weapon, I'm hoping. If not, then... I'm being fine. He just starts walking. I don't need it. Yeah, I guess we could go where okay. it's He didn't intend to buy a magic weapon whenever we started having that conversation. Now there's magic That's how she was giving him 50 up. so he could get something. Yeah, yeah he's just fine buying himself something at this point. Too much of a hassle. Hmm? A part of me wants to just skip ahead of this and have people go through the book to see what they want. Can't do that with magic weapon shopping. Three ways. Why how three? About we, how about we just do potions first, because that's easier. It's just that's like, true. I want potions. Okay, give me this much money. Wait, Paris, sure. why three different ways? Because you're going normal weapon shopping, I thought. They're going magic no. weapon shopping. No, he's oh, going Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, my bad. That I misunderstood. Two ways. So let's get the potions. So going for yeah. potions first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, going for potions first. Uh, you will find that the majority of the potions are sold around the clergies as they have the access to a lot of healing and so they can give other various healing items uh, including uh, a few various different varieties of healing items 
uh, when you enter, some of the people kind of give you a, a little like halfway like, hey, hey, well, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just gonna want to go ahead and ask about healing potions. <laughs> potions. Well, I thought I thought you weren't here, Nivar. She went with Virgil to get yeah, potions. So why, why would yeah. this make the warlock uncom uncomfortable? Because clerics. But she's not there. She. <laughs> she went to get That's potions. what I just said. Yeah, she, she said that she went, went with Veerdrick. With Veerdrick. Yeah, are you with me too? Wait. Did you go with potions or weapons? I went with potions. Then you're with Veerdrick okay, and Naivara. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. That's why she's uncomfortable. We're all here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you see some of the clerics just like brushing off some stuff. They look over you. How I help you? Can we help you, uh, ladies and gentlemen? We needed some healing potions. Ah uh, yes, I uh, we have a few that should be able to give you a uh, a good amount of health, a uh, good amount of healing, uh, especially if you're trapped under a rock or such as that. Uh, what is uh what is it exactly that you're looking to get? Uh, the strength and quality. We have a uh, some that are worth a uh, quite it's quite a bit, just so you're aware. But some of them are actually worth. Uh, a bit more, if you're looking for something with a bit uh, more heartiness to it. Uh, we only have a few of those. Uh, we do also uh, have an ointment that we've been working on, something to help uh, soothe things away and such as that, but we only have uh, two of those in stock. What sort of things does it soothe? Uh, uh, things where, if you're going out and you're some of the uh, explorers and such, uh, if you find yourself upon uh, eating something and it causes you to be poisoned or uh, a creature bites you and it causes you to be poisoned it will help to remove that as well as giving you a boost to your vitality basically it'll cure poisons and heal you how much are you selling? Uh, that one specifically where because of its Scarcity in our ability to make it at this current time, it's running about 650 gold pieces. The other potions, though, are not nearly as expensive as that. Uh, we have uh, very uh, minor healing potions that'll only run you about 45 gold. Uh, the stronger healing potions, though, will run you uh, 475 gold. That is such a huge price difference. Right! <laughs> what the fuck is that? You can drink two potions of the smaller variety and get the effects of one. Colors. The rarity of the uh, potions and the necessity of uh, speed is a, a, a great difference, especially when considering uh, timing is everything, especially when it comes to uh, helping oneself out. Killer's gonna drop 90 gold, and we'll say, here's 90 gold, I'd like to have the minor potions. Of course! Reaches down, pulls out two uh, standard healing potions, and gives them to you. First standard cost uh, heal. The standard ones heal for uh, 2d4 plus 2. Oh, I need a... Hmm... <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll get a couple of those, too. Okay. How many were you looking to get? Mm. Mm, let's make it three. Three? Alright. Gives you three. Or... They were 45 each, right? Yes, so 135. Okay. Yeah, I'll tan the gold over then. He takes it. A pleasure. And uh, you as well, miss. We do have other things as well, if you are wondering, but healing is our sole and strongest provider, especially since we cannot be everywhere, and we wish to help people have their longest life and best life possible. I think 
options will work for me if possible. How many? Four. Four. All right. Um, that'd be 180 gold pieces. We'll set it down. Hold up. Let me do my math. Parishal's like, okay. roll 20, calculate yeah. my golds. Oh no, I actually <laughs> did that in my head. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, he gives you four of them. A pleasure. We are probably going to need to get a bit more stock. We did not realize that uh, so many mercenaries were going to be coming through to purchase our stock. It's quite lovely. I wasn't expecting to these, honestly. Well, no one expects to need it, but having it as a failsafe is generally better than not. Of course. Especially after the tear last night. Some people are saying that they might head north. What's north? Apparently, whatever tore through the city last night is heading that direction, as far as people have been able to tell. So they're heading that direction. Why would they go after the thing that caused the roughest? To stop it from causing more of a ruckus. Why? Why else? Oh, would you mean you mercenaries? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, people. People are going after that. I thought you meant just normal people were heading no, north. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, some people are, but that's because they're uh, uh, go-getters. They're bold, but wisdom is not always amongst their strong suit. Oh. Your size. I know. Thank you very much. Of course. Here's a piece. Of course. Have a nice day. So, wave him and head out. Okay. So, you guys have you grabbed quite a stock of potions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Zadim and Bo, you eventually find. Uh, a blacksmith's shop where they are selling a variety of different weapons. Uh, they seem to have paired themselves up with uh, their husband who is working on the uh, wooden such such as staves, the uh, polearm part of the uh, halberds and such as that, bows, crossbows, etc. And they're currently just working on that as you come in you can see just shh Welcome! Shh! 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 How can we help you? We are in the market for some upgrades to our current repertoire. How can we help are with we, that? Are we all here? No. Okay, it's just as deep. And Bo. Oh. Uh, I have to look at Bo. I have never actually seen you wield anything except the claw. What exactly do you... Um... I can fight with anything. Uh, I don't look like it much, but I was trained to fight at one point. Do you my god, I, my lady actually trained me up. She uh, showed me that I could defend myself if I really wanted to. That is good. Do you prefer to slash, stab, or smash? That's something for all that. Even piercing things if you need. Does... The trident is her main weapon. It's amongst her main weapons, yes. What's the other ones? Net, I'm guessing? Net, is yeah. One. And is there any more, or just that? Uh, for, like, fishing and such as that? Uh, spear. Or just, like, for her holy weapons? Because I know gods have preferred weapons. Uh... Trident could work, maybe. I know she like. Mm. That is a good choice. Trident, trident. Uh, kind of leans back, bangs against the wall. Honey, you got any tridents back there? You're just a like a like a half shout in some language that it sounds angry, and he shouts it back in the same language. Uh, do either of you speak dwarvish? Nah. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's it just sounds like angry yelling nah. between the two of them. Uh, give give them a moment; they'll 
They've they've made a few. It's just that they've we haven't lived by the sea in a, a while. We actually moved away from there to try and get away from the, the salty brine of the air and such as that. Apparently, they didn't like the idea of uh, spending the rest of their life near an area where they could inhale enough salt to uh, get their pork seasoned before killing it. <laughs> salt to pork's really good. Man, I miss pork. I need to go get some later. Uh, you hear something, someone yell from the back, All right, all right, hold on. He walks towards the back. About a minute later, he comes back out, and he's got a couple of different tridents. So he kind of just sets down, looks through them, and he eventually pushes one forward, like holds it up and sets it down. It's a little bit bigger than you in terms of size, but it's wieldy um, enough that someone of your stature would not have difficulty in using it. Okay. Uh, we have got a few shorter ones uh, if you need, but it all depends on your preference. Yes. Got ones that uh, go up to your chin, but some people think that they're meant for children. They're, they're really not, I promise. We make this for all people in mind. It's just um, some people are forgetful. Are any of them, like, special in any way, or are they just normal tridents? Normal tridents. I mean, they're special in that we made them. They're homemade. Were you expecting right. something else? I thought his name was looking for a magic shop, sorry. Oh, um, there's not really a magic shop around these parts. Uh, most, uh, most areas where you might be able to find that would be either be, uh, if you're heading to the guild, the guilds have them, but you have to get into them, a uh, certain rank or something like that, and you'll be able to get access to those shops. Uh, that or if you speak with a collector. Uh, for that, uh, just standard PHB pricing. I don't know how much a fucking tribe can cost. I think it's 10 <laughs> gold, 15 gold. I think it's 10, I, can, 10, I believe. I can look it up I quickly on roll 20. Yeah, I, I have it right here, literally. Uh, 5 gold, actually. So yeah, 5 gold. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mark from me. You said that the guild is one place to look, but also with collector. Yeah, but their name belies the fact that, uh, if you think that you're going to just buy something from them, you better understand that your wallet better be as big as your ego, or maybe even their ego, because theirs is definitely going to be bigger than yours. That is fair. I will thank him for his time. Um, Bo quick, does a quick, like, s spins the try in one hand, spins it in the other, does it with both above his head, and he just puts it on his back. He's like, all right. Look like you can handle yourself well. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'll give him five extra silver pieces. He takes it and you respectful nod. Hope you're able to keep yourself good on your catches, eh? Just nods. Good luck to you. <laughs> and to you. And you guys uh, after we leave, um, mm -hmm. I will I will turn it about. I know you are uncomfortable with going to the guild, but it seems like that might be the best place for me to find a new weapon. You do not have to accompany me if you don't want to, but I would appreciate it. The noise behind! Yeah. <laughs> I know! <Samba> music! <laughs> this is some um, music in his background, oh no. I'll go. Thank you. Buddy system and all that. True enough. Uh, yeah. But I'll just make sure the Triton is safely strapped on his back. Actually, he slings it around so it's mostly on his, um, <laughs> on his left side so that the counteracting balance actually somewhat balances out a bit more. <laughs> right. 
Yeah. I say, I'll say that's probably what he's doing. Trying to put that most of the weight on his left. So the heavier part, you know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah. So a guild, I guess. So you guys uh, are going to I a guild. Gonna... Yeah. Alright, so head over to the guild uh, to speak with them. Uh, you did get membership with it, so you're able to walk in and speak with a few people. Uh, when you do speak with them, though, uh, you will find out that uh, as of where you are at currently in the guild, you are not yet at the point where you'd be able to visit the Dragon's Belly. <laughs> Very well. I guess we'll rejoin the party. Was there anything else the rest of us wanted to do? I need to visit the library real quick. What for? To find books on corruption. Okay. A roll an investigation check. She's been there before in this city. All she mean looking for the book. For the book. Okay. Going to the library is not hard at all. <laughs> oh my dick. Uh, nothing about corruption in this library. And I couldn't check out the books at Denali's Clerics area either. Well, wasted time. <laughs> Unless I can have... Actually, wait. Did I do this without asking the fucking clerk again? Yeah. God damn it. Can I ask the clerk? Yes? You wouldn't happen to have any books on corruption of lands, would you? Of lands? Why would you be looking for something like that? Because I'm looking to see if I can figure out what type of corruption is happening to a certain land. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> oh dear. No, oh, fuck. If only you were. Mm. Wait, no! Is Eagle Splendor still on? It's been more than an hour. Yeah, Has it? Point. I'm so asking. Alright. Yeah. yeah. You see, this is why Bo wanted to travel as a party. Because I could have made that not happen. <laughs> Would you have cast it? You can't cast it on me after I cast it. Nope. You that's not anyway. what I mean. But yes, move on. What the fuck? By the way, just so everybody knows, uh, apparently Bo was supposed to have another feat that I just never got. So starting Oops. this session, Bo has a new feat, by the way. Just put that out. Because apparently I was supposed to get one at level one. <laughs> Um, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. What have I missed? Uh, I Paris tries to find books on corruption that, uh... This Wait, is this person looking at me like I'm about to do it? Books on corruption? No, they're just looking at you. I mean, actually, with that persuasion check, they're just like... No, we, we don't. No. Books on corruption? Yep. Oh. Like political corruption? No. No. Corruption of the land. I was hoping to see if I could oh. figure out what the hell the warlocks were doing to- hmm. right, They sell books? Uh, yeah, one, one of them sells the books. Yeah. One of the guilds, one of the uh, knowledge clergies. Clergy, okay. All right. mm -hmm. I thought we were a magic item shop. No. Okay, okay, okay. Do you know any other place that does sell them? It would be very useful for me. I'm trying to figure out what issue another person is causing, and I want to see if I can reverse it. Mm, sadly, I do not. I do not believe that anyone in this city has anything really to that extent. For clarity's sake, can I fucking inside this person? Sure. Is this? Oh, now same, I roll high. <laughs> is this the same li uh, library that we went into before? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, they might be withholding some information, but it's mostly because they're looking at you like, I don't know if we can trust this person. They're, they're giving you this side eye like, uh, do I need to call security? Mm, I might need to call security, I'm not sure. I ain't even gonna say anything. <laughs> oh no. The threats. Uh, the what? <laughs> the threats. So we'll stand, um, so stand up straight and kind of get into this half out. Thank you for your time anyway. They give you a nod. So head back out. You guys can all regroup. Um, Kalea would, um, as she, uh, as Novara comes out, she would, she, she would just kind of say, I want to look around the magic arms. You can go look at them if you want. I mean, I, I can go on my own, I just don't know if we want to go stay together or not. I'm fine with being on my own, I just don't know how Bo would react if we split up. I'll be fine. Until they walks off on our own. Just so you know, for the sake of brevity, you're probably not finding one. Because we did the same thing and had no luck. Um, Virgo's gonna fall after mean, her. Kill this, just gonna look anyway. I'll head back to the end. See you, Nivar. Have fun, Killer. Wait, you, um, sorry, you say that. Vidrick's following, uh, mm -hmm. go, go with her, alright. Yeah, yeah, he's following here. She gonna look for this, uh, I don't know, magic item shop, whatever. Magic. Vidrick will passively be looking. <laughs> Caesar! Can you keep it down? No! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. You guys are heading out? They're heading to the magic shop on back to the end. Well, magic weapon shop, quote unquote. There isn't any. I, yep. They had it mentioned by Bo that the places that will have it are either collectors who will sell it for a lot more than it's probably worth, and the guild where Zadim has found out that he is uh, That's all underqualified. Have, yeah, I didn't know because I wasn't here. I don't think I say it multiple times since you've been here. I kept trying to say for the sake of brevity, it it won't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I figured you were just telling me out of character. Rather no, than was saying that having it had told me in character. No, because at that point we would have found each other because it was after y'all were done at the library and we were done with You our... did say for the sake of brevity which sounds fucking yeah, out of character as shit. That's the yeah. thing. Because right. in character she wouldn't know. Um, I mean, if she was told... Um... I suppose she would probably all... Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, she wouldn't bother. <laughs> she just go back to the end. Mm -hmm. By the way, Don, I DM'd you a question quick. Uh... Um...
I only ask because no, no, it's it's, it's a good question. Now. Um, <laughs> there isn't exactly a thing for just yourself. You'd have to find one that is trained for it, which sometimes you have to train them yourself, which no, can be difficult. Like it's difficult, yeah. but it is possible. Hmm. Uh, the biggest thing for you would be working with the creature, essentially. Okay. Knowing how he is, he'd probably interest in finding one that's already trained. Which I'm assuming He's would a be horse. Here, so. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with your Jay, actually, he might need a pony. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was asking about it. Yes. Spartacus <laughs> is a is a good horse, but uh, and he was trained, but he's a little big for you. Yeah. <laughs> God, I just thought a fucking Lord Farquaad who needs help on his own. <laughs> on and off. Oh dear. Um. Anyway, um. I guess I'll probably have to look in some other town for something like that. I think this is the only major city we're gonna go across for a while. Is there some kind of like stables or anything for that kind of stuff? Uh, there is a stable, yeah. I guess I'll go check it out by myself. Okay. And you come back with a pony. I I I don't know again how much self control Divara has. It's like I really Hello. don't want to get a small pony, but. Well, <laughs> I would come with Vedra. Okay. okay, he's okay with clear coming. <laughs> he he is curious to see what there is though. Um. You're looking for one your size, I'd imagine. Does he have something that would suit him more? Okay. Uh, there, I mean, there are medium-sized horses. Yeah, there, there are medium-sized horses. Uh, let me actually just check to see what those are. Midget horses. Midget! <laughs> I believe that's a donkey. Donkey technically... No, donkeys are large. Uh, no, no, donkeys they are have medium. miniature horses. Do donkeys are a different species. They are, they are, they are still medium creatures, though. Wait, why isn't he just riding Spartacus? He's not. He's not. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Why isn't he just riding Spartacus? Because it's a large he's creature, and he he's could. a small creature, so he, he could, but it'd be difficult. It. Yeah, he can still ride it. It wouldn't even be difficult. What? It's There's just no the getting on and off, is what they're saying. Yeah, getting on and off could be... Yeah. Well, off would be easy. On would be the hard. <laughs> Do you think Beatrice would honestly ask anybody to help him yeah. through a horse? No. He is. You want to ask me? Allow that. <laughs> he wouldn't um, even Kale ask. Kale Kale would actually. She would turn to Birdrick. I feel like she would probably have this idea. Hmm. She's creative. Hmm. Why don't you see if there's like instead of just getting a whole new like. You could just get like a set of stairs that like collapse. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Yo, you trying to get him a footstool? <laughs> no, a step ladder. A step ladder. That's what you mean. It's like step stool. you know, it, it it collapses neatly into the side, so that you can the horse can just carry it around. But when you need to get on and off, you just kind of like I don't know, click something, and it you know just expands, and you can step off. Virgin <laughs> is looking at her, and he's like. Because war I horses think... are trained for war. Huh? What? Paris asked a question about war horses. Oh. Yeah, war uh... horses are trained. Yeah. Which takes a lot of uh, <laughs> money and time. Uh, he looks at Clear and he's like, I appreciate the idea, but I'd rather not. <laughs> That's it. Okay. She looks totally serious. She's not like laughing or anything. So. Yeah, he he also didn't laugh at anything, but he is not gonna be doing that. 
He thinks it look the sound of it sounds ridiculous to him. <laughs> you really- Plus, he does rather have like he he's still curious just to see what though. He mm, probably much enough. about that kind of stuff. Kalil will shrug and she'll keep going. Virgil will probably explain that there's a. Horses are some horses that are actually that and that kind of thing. Okay. Which is kind of what he's looking for. So you're looking for a medium sized mount? Pretty much. Okay. Um, there's a halfling that you'd come across. Uh, who has a variety of different creatures. Mastiff is included amongst them, uh, who they appear to be kind of like just walking around with them, being, you know, learning to be trained in wearing various saddles and such as that. Ponies to mastiffs. No, not dire corgis. Dire corgis would mean that something is dire about them. <laughs> I mean, what's dire is that. Uh, they also have some donkeys that they're also training because those are also medium creatures. Uh, oh my God. And G- uh, giant rat. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Sorry about that. Bless you. Um, most ornery of them, but also one of the ones who looks like they're the most confused about being there. Uh, is that he also ha- appears to have a boar amongst them. A oh, boar? Oh, boar. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, been, it's, being trained with, uh, it's being trained with a saddle and everything. It's just kind of looking around and it's like making like, <laughs> sniffing at the ground and stuff like that. Just, it, It's there. It's it's clearly able to be directed. Like he has a, looks to be a younger halfling, maybe a child or a cousin or something like that, who's helping like guide these different creatures and you know, making sure that they're all set up correctly as is you know, it's motioning he sees you coming over and kinda of gives it like a little half wave, looks back towards him. When you approach he kinda of looks over like, Oh, you're actually here to buy things. Oh hi there. I thought you were just passing by. I was looking into possibly getting out. Oh hey! Well you came to the right pl- well, the right area of town at least. I must have gotten directed over here. Some people will point towards me before anyone else because uh well I've got uh, mounts for people our size. You know what I mean? He nods. <laughs> it's kind of hard no, when uh, you're trying to cr- climb up a ladder just to get to your mount. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, it, it sounds like it's a problem and a half to just get up on one of those big old. Don't you out of creatures. character call out Kalir that way, Goo. <laughs> Coming into this house like that. Kalir is just kind of glaring at this guy. Oh! Why? Did, did I say something to upset your friend? It's... It's fine. <laughs> uh, if I said anything to upset you, I apologize. I'm just... Convenience. Yeah. Why are you still glaring at me? I'm gonna just turn to your friend here and sell to them because <laughs> you look angry. So... <clears throat> <laughs> Kaleo wouldn't be glaring any anymore. Like after the man, like you know, said something, he would, she would have like essentially just stopped, just kept looking around. Mm-hmm. It's just like a like a, a quick glare when he mentions like, the bitch. ladder and how oh, yeah. the ladder is a bad idea. When it's not, it's just convenient, and the only people that don't like it are people that have too much pride. <laughs> Do you mean Veerdrick? Yes! And apparently this guy. <laughs> yeah. What kind of animal are you looking to mount? Um, I know, phrasing and whatnot, but seriously. <laughs> he kind of glances around and he's like, Oh, I want something I can take into combat. Alright. Uh, oh, oh Veerdrick. Hmm? What about like a a, a a wolf? A wolf. <laughs> he um. I love 
He actually tries to suppress his and he's like, I don't think you have any training wolves. <laughs> Sadly, training a wolf can be a bit problematic, especially getting the pups. Uh, I have a cousin who has a few of them, but he's more uh, more towards the uh, southwest. Uh, good creatures, very smart. I'm not sure if he's actually making them for uh, war mounts, though. They're more for people who are uh, trying to go through the forest and such as uh, patrolmen's and such types as that. So not exactly war so much as a, a forestry. And he just kind of nods and he's like, it's not what I'm looking for then. Understandable. Uh, if you're looking for something uh, war, something for combat, uh, horses will listen to you so far as you can uh, you know, make them trust you. I mean, that's that's definitely a thing that's possible. Uh, the thing that I'd say would be important to note about some of the others is that uh, uh, you, you, you might be looking for something that'll be a little harder to train per se, but will also be the most stare down anything that comes your way. Those are going to be either mules or boars. Boars because I don't think they can see right in front of their nose, let alone the things in their way, so they'll just... Uh, They'll just kind of stand there and let you do as you need to do, and then once they realize that there's danger, they'll either, you know, start flailing around or they'll just, you know, run away. You know, one of the two. Mules? I mean, if mules don't want to be there, they'll start walking away, but if, you know, there's something in their way and they're planning on going that way, they're going to expect you to take care of it. Hmm. Mules sitting there like, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> just... The mules don't look cool. No. <laughs> the boar does. Get the boar. Coward. He's cute, but he really doesn't want to turn tail once it realizes what the fuck's going well, on. Again, it's all a matter of training. <laughs> it's all a matter of training. Mm. You train it up well enough, and instead of turning tail, it'll be one of those that'll charge headlong with you directing it. So you, gotta, you gotta help it learn to trust you. Hmm. I'm assuming it's like that with anything here, though. Obviously. Everything Out of character, from... you do know someone who'd be more than happy to help you out with that trick. Oh, yeah. No, Beardrick's already got it. He knows. <laughs> he, he still has that in mind, but... <laughs> Honestly, he probably didn't start really getting the idea until that time he, like... Got put on Spartacus fucking... once, and then bro rode what bright eyes one time. I yes. think. <laughs> so he started getting the idea. <laughs> um. So you're saying a boar and a mule is the most stubborn thing you have? Stubborn, yeah. He likes stubborn. You like <laughs> he stubborn? Wants something that's not. <laughs> he I want something that won't run away. Are, are you looking for the stubbornest thing we've got? <laughs> what is it? Uh, do, you, do you care about naming things yourself, or do you prefer if the, the names we give them are... Uh, uh, I don't care either way. You don't care either way? Alright. Turns out... Uh, yeah, yeah, with your passive perception, you just hear him kind of lean over and just like, go get Black Buck. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Oh no! What is that? What is that? Oh, yeah. that sounds like a porn star name, dude. <laughs> oh my god! That's your own dirty mind. That's not my fault. A couple moments later, you you see the other halfling coaxing out. Uh, a, it's not a giant rat. No, stop that. <laughs> a very That's a giant crab. Oh, giant crab would be hilarious. Uh, it's a very firmly built. Uh, clearly, it's not like um, something that's been you know just fed from the trough and just fed you know to fatten it up. This thing is leanly built. It is looks like it's like every time it steps down you're half expecting it to try and put an indentation into the ground with how hard it's stepping down <laughs> it's heavy <laughs> it, it, is it? it is a boar my it is yes. a boar? <laughs> pure, 
pure black coat. The only thing not black is its note, is its snout, as it just sniffs at the air. And like, as, as I said, there was like, <laughs> kind of looking around, sniffing at the air, it kind of looks at you with like a half glance, and then kind of looks away from you, not seeming to pay you any mind. Out of character, there's probably a reason they named him Fuck! Just saying. How big is it? Probably up, to, like, you're reaching about Clear's hip, this thing's back arches a little bit above that. Probably from it's a medium some, creature. It's a medium creature, yeah. So it is like at least a good foot, maybe foot and a half above you. Okay, hmm. let me check out what I wrote his height down at. So from what I understand, if that thing stands up on its hind legs, it's bigger than Cole. Yes. Big Zula! Yeah. It no, is the that's biggest a, boar that's just here. A, that's just a fully grown boar. Yeah, that's just a fully grown boar, yeah. Wow. Boars are huge, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, boars are enormous. Who wow. yeah. yeah. not <laughs> Yeah, like giant <laughs> boars are just super-sized boars that do not exist in our, you know, time and life. This is a, just a normal boar, but this is a very, uh, well, persnickety-looking boar. If that's a way to describe a creature. Hmm. Kalei would wrestle it. If she was in the mood for wrestling. You know, she doesn't just wrestle things. <laughs> what what brainless person would do that? Am I right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Me. um, he um he looks at it and he's like, "Is it mean?" Once you're friendly to it, it'll uh, not be mean, and generally speaking, that only takes maybe a couple days, but uh, uh, creatures that it doesn't tend to like, it's, uh, well, there's a reason why some people call it being boorish. Boar-headed. It tends to want to just knock them on their ass and then, well, walk away as though if everything's wanted. If you get back up, it may turn right around and run you over again. <coughs> <laughs> so like Veerdrin, got it. <laughs> he, he's kind of he's kind of grinning. He's kind of grinning. When he starts to smirk <laughs> is when you should be concerned. Yeah. <laughs> he likes Cause that, that means he's happy, and that means something sadistic is happening. Boar is not quite the image he was thinking of, but uh, he likes the attitude. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll sell him to you for fifty gold. That includes get the, the boy, you coward. <laughs> He looks at him and he's like, he, he slowly nods. All right. <laughs> Saddle him up. And, <laughs> oh, dude. He takes out his buckle. <laughs> I can't believe he's doing this. <laughs> I can. This is great. <laughs> he wasn't planning on really? actually buying anything right away. He just wanted to see what kind of options there was. Kalea puts a hand to his shoulder. And when he looks back, she nods. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of smirking. He's like, "You like him?" Yeah. I like. Him. <laughs> he looks at the board and he's like, "I did." <laughs> Victor is that man who is like, "I'm only looking." When he goes to the pet shop and he walks out five minutes later. Oh God! Yeah. He's literally oh he he's is looking dog you've ever seen. Like, yeah, <laughs> he is the literal subject. He's like the person that's referred to when it's like those when there's that tweet that's just like there's nothing more wholesome than like than dads with the pet they said they didn't want. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> pretty that much. Is... Yeah, just like begrudgingly gets a cat, turns out to actually love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, he's like gotten on. To everyone else about getting dogs and animals all of a sudden hey shit. this is Look a boar him. this is a boar a riding boar practicality here <laughs> it's gonna be fun anyway he really wasn't playing I had one we are <laughs> alright so I will be giving you that in a little bit but in the meantime you are able to ride out on black buck like uh, when you first like look at it and it looks at you, like the halflings and whatever, they're like getting on it, like trying to get on to ride it over to you, and it it doesn't move for a second. But as soon as you like approach it, 
it's slow like it like makes like slow motions towards you like it's trying to stare you down oh, oh. and it seems <laughs> to make make a charisma actually not charisma uh no, 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 make a charisma check first. Intimidation? No, make an intimidation! <laughs> a charisma check? If you're a proficient in intimidation, I'll allow it. Oh, okay, good, if thank god. Hello, <laughs> who's standing behind Vidric, could, uh... Could she ace him? Uh, no. This, it is only looking at... Only looking at Vidric. Uh, okay. After a moment, the creature lets out this snort, but when you get on, as soon as you start, like, giving it the go-ahead, it starts moving. Nice. <laughs> Mutual respect, <laughs> Christ Almighty. That's what it feels like. They stare each other down. And it's like, oh God, I just you're gonna be a pain in my like... ass. I like you. <laughs> I like it. I'm I'm just, just, I'm just a... God. Oh God, yep, it's busted. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, what happened? Guru, hmm? Guru just gave that to a pal. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes, but the creature yes. hits. It does not mean that the paladin is going to be getting yeah. the blade. No, it knocks it prone, which can give the paladin advantage on attack. Yep, on a DC With 11 sight. strength. Yep. <laughs> Please, this is great. This was a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, to be fair, if she'd I'll done just... this in any other city, she might not have gotten it. I just love the idea that, like... Nivara or like any anyone in the party says something that Virdrick doesn't approve of. Both Virdrick and the boar look at that person and both frown at the same time. Both of you to assume that would deter Nivara at all. I think that would strengthen her resolve. <laughs> That's great. So yeah, the rest of you guys, uh, when you see Virdrick and Kalir coming back, you can actually see Virdrick's head through the window. And he's writing on something. Navarro will peek her head out. Oh, hey, God, what the fuck? <laughs> he got a boar. Oh, he got a boar. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why? You couldn't have just used a step stool on Spartacus? No. Okay. <laughs> also... You also what? Oh no! What was that, Zadim? I will also peek out and get a look at the boar. I imagine it's a totem pole! <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> doot doot doot! But yeah, uh, the boar is... It, it, it like eyes you all, and then dismisses you. <laughs> <laughs> What's its name? Black Buck. Bup-roop. Very. <laughs> I wonder how it responds to being fed. Did it just sniff? I mean, it's looking around. It's not sn sniffing specifically oh. at you. I thought you like. Wait. Sniffed no, for I, a second. I I have a stuffy nose. I thought I just heard a fucking a harmonica. Crazy. Yeah, harmonica. <laughs> yeah, that's butters. <laughs> Don't worry about. No, it's Mad's phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> butters has been good about not playing the harmonica on stream. <laughs> Um, this thing looks just like you. <laughs> he, um, he is, he actually is kind of smirking to himself. He is pleased. You can <laughs> I am <laughs> pleased with this decision. <laughs> he is fucking pleased with this. <laughs> so, on this board currently, Virgin is head height? Uh, or when taller? Are you ask. <laughs> with, right. with, I, he is able to look you in the eye from atop this boar. Me or Zadim? You, and by that I mean he's looking down at you a little bit. Oh! He is looking, still having to look up a bit at Zadim, but he is a little bit taller than you all on the board. <laughs> Good purchase. Right, you. <laughs> Assert dominance. <laughs> Assert dominance now. <laughs> what dominance? Please! <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're just three and a half feet, and the board is, I guess, around four. And a half, so I've sitting here pointing at him. I've taken bitches bigger than you. He's just looking pleased with himself. Mm. <laughs> um, Bo has not come out yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of glances in, in inside, I guess. And um, I think Bo might still be a little bit upset about his. Um... She holds up her left hand. Bo walks um, towards the door. All right, what was happening? Um. Yeah. 
Big pain. Bro just looks at it. Looks at you. Looks away. That's gonna be a lot of money to feed. Then he just walks back and. <laughs> <laughs> Do I Bro's know the only one eat? not surprised by this. <laughs> uh, predominantly vegetation, but they can eat uh, almost anything. <laughs> so poker headed. Hey, do you have any cabbage? Yeah. That right. thing's it's gonna stink. Do <laughs> not eat that thing cabbage. <laughs> yes, Are you keto any... from me? <laughs> do you have any carrots? Yeah. Why? How much for one? For what? Three copper pieces. Toss me one. <laughs> Tosses it to you. She'll walk back out. I'm morbidly curious. Veridric's getting off of it, mm -hmm. and he's trying to like tie it up or whatever, so he can get his shit from inside. Okay. So hold the carrot out to it and see if it kind of disregard. <laughs> I was gonna say when she just hands the carrot out, he's like, feeding my boy. <laughs> Make a dex. Are you really complaining? <laughs> Now, as you're as you're looking at him, yeah, you're able to you you basically you almost hear the inhalation, so you let go of the carrot, and all of a sudden the carrot is no longer in your hand. As you just see it go. Complaining <laughs> that means you don't have to pay to feed it a little bit less, a little bit more. I just spent my money on apparently a vacuum. <laughs> so. How does it respond to touch? It kind of like leans. It like leans. It doesn't lean back so much as it kind of like leans onto its haunches as though it's ready to like start bucking. <laughs> to buck from a touch to the head? Oh lord, it really is very true. Or is not very well trained. I mean, just because it doesn't like affection doesn't mean it's not well trained. I mean, it let his alas right on it. I feel like that has less to do with training and more to do with obstinance. <laughs> or similar personalities. Uh, what did you think maybe, I was talking about? Maybe the boss just found found it's like you know, rider. So it won't let anyone else touch it. A kindred spirit! <laughs> A kindred spirit! Well. I was just gonna say they've just like formed a bond, but okay. <laughs> I mean, I can practically see the resemblance. Mean face and resting bitch face. Look at it. Um, Beardrick will kind of like hold his hand out a bit at the see if it is okay with him or whatever. It doesn't buck when you touch it, but it's also like looking at you like, what the fuck are you doing? It, okay. So it doesn't so, allow you to do, get, like, give it a quick rustle of the hair and whatnot, little scratch. But if you start pushing it too far, it starts getting a little, like, starts shifting around. But it's it doesn't it doesn't buck for you. It, <laughs> it's, it, your, your intimidation check's holding it for now. Oh <laughs> hey, by the way, um, I just Can thought we... of something. This is very important. Yes. Yeah. Out of character. Yeah. In character, Zadim gets uh, a very guarded look on his face. Oh god, I just thought of something oh, as well. No. And then he okay. turns to the stables and he calls for bright eyes. Yeah! The yeah. bright eyes! Yeah. No! Bright eyes comes out. We it's a predator! They will react to each other. Bright eyes uh, walks out. Are you still downstairs or are you getting your stuff? Oh, right. well, if they're bringing bright eyes out and they're gonna be gonna stay in there and watch. Okay. Uh, bright eyes, you know, the little just walks out casually. The uh, As bright eyes looks at the boar, like, bright eyes does, like, the eagle head tilt. And the boar just, like, looks at bright eyes. Kind of looks away, but you can see, like, they're just keeping it out of the corner of its eye. <laughs> Wary. <laughs> Don't eat me, motherfucker. <laughs> I will turn to bright eyes, and I will get her attention. And, uh... Uh, I'm pretty sure she'll understand. Yeah, she does understand She's common. She's intelligence right? of 19! Yeah, but I, I forgot whether or not she understood common. Ah. Uh, she's learning that, more. That is not for eating. That, that is a 
that is for riding. Specifically, I, I point over at Virjik, that is for him to ride. He watches uh, Bright Eyes' head snaps to the boar, snaps back to you, snaps over to Virjik, snaps back to you, tilts the head again, looks back what to Virjik, looks back to you. Mm -hmm. So. I don't see it coming either. So walk <laughs> over to Bright Eyes and pat her head. I know, girl, I know. It's very confusing. Girl, you see. Kind of noise. That's like oh. clicking its uh, beak against each other. Just, it's just like, but boo, what? No, <laughs> it's, don't, no. It's, no. It's, it's, it's not moving towards the boar like I'm gonna eat it. Just, it's like making the noise like I'm, I'm, I'm. But, Why is he riding food? Why is he riding food? <laughs> what a panic! It's like watching someone ride a turkey. <laughs> As uh, Bright Eyes is looking at it, Veerdrick is going to look at... Uh, he doesn't really talk to Bright Eyes ever, but... No! He, he looks at Bright Eyes and he's like, I did get the idea. Like, what did he say? Uh, got he got the idea from her! her. <laughs> it, it, like, it, like, there's a slight squint to its eyes before it gives, like, a, a slight fluffing to its wings and seems to finally be, like, ignoring the board. Just kind of, like, looks back to Zadim, just like, alright, alright, I'll take it. Huh? Hey Zadim, how much can I spoil her? Spoil her how? I mean, she didn't do something. She didn't attack the boar. She holds up one of the fucking Argus's little meat cubes. Yeah, she is a lot of treats. She looks at the treats. Cho like, hmm. Choosing not to be aggressive and then rewarding them for it is not a good way to train. I don't know how to train a griffin. She'll toss up the treat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Sadim's right here if, you know, you need advice. Uh, Kalil will look at the sky, um, to see what, what, where the sun is. By now it's noon. Okay. You guys are going to eat lunch. Some time around, but... She's going in to eat lunch. Okay. <gasps> yep, are we going to eat lunch and get ready to go, I guess? Alright. Yeah. So just mark off five silver for the lunch. Mm -mm -mm. So one silver apiece, or five if one person's taking care of the whole thing. Um, Dad, take Kale your will, money back! Kale will buy lunch <laughs> for How much money? Okay. 285 gold! 285, eh? Okay. Gotcha, Clear. So Clear is paying for lunch for everyone. We're just awesome. thank her. As will Zadim. <laughs> Wait, hold on. We're getting two rounds of lunch? No, everybody. Everyone gets. Lunch. Yeah. Killer's paying for lunch. Yeah. Like, for everyone. Yeah, everyone's yeah, That's why everyone's thanking, thanking you. Thanking if, if you are doing that, if you're not oh, doing it, we yeah. can all pay for lunch on our own. Yes. Oh, she was oh, just giving I, Dima's money it, back because she's been carting around a th almost 300 bag, or excuse me, 300 GP worth bag for like two days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, if I thought the dean was paying for like for everyone's lunch as well. No, no. I'll do that. <laughs> I mean, if you want I can to, afford it. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll slap down five gold. Uh, so yeah, actually, I'll slap down five gold. Two, two <laughs> what? I five silver, mad. I'll slap down a gold. You <laughs> <laughs> slap down five gold. He pushes back four, then takes the one gold and gives you five silver. I want. I want. Uh. Do you want? <laughs> Give me an entire it. cow. <laughs> roast it. Just the cow. Don't cook it. Just a straight up cow. <laughs> Bake me five loaves of bread with it. <laughs> so you said two eighty-five. Yes. All right. I can't remember why you gave it to me, but I had it, and I'm just sitting here like, I have this money still, take it! Uh, you were buying books. Oh, yeah. I was right. like, I don't know how much this costs, I'm a simple mountain man, I'm gonna give you a lot of money. <laughs> just drop 300 fucking gold in her lap, kinda like- Yeah. Yeah, I did. She, the best part is, I could just imagine him doing this, she's looking up like, money now rains from the sky, and I can't <laughs> in good conscience take it. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, so you guys are able to eat your food. Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone can mount up as needed, either getting into the cart on Bright Eyes or on Black Buck. <laughs> as everyone's getting ready, I will be saying goodbye to the 
tavern owner personally. Of course. <laughs> Insight! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make sure you come back around oh, sometime. Died. I, mean, um, I would, I right. would greatly like to inside. Oh shit, that's a nice insight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Virgin's gonna be kind of working out, and he's like, "We'll be back around." Better. Oh, we'll be, oh, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of grinning and stuff. Like... Oh, that's a fifty. I'll take that. <laughs> Not with advantage, but you guys get the sense that yeah. the, the bartender seems to actually like Virdrick. I know it's surprising, uh -huh. but Virdrick's. Our rusty huh. bitch face does apparently seem to have caught this, you know, bartender to be like, yeah, you're cool. Well, what do you know? <laughs> and it's all weird. You're to like him, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that Kaleer rolled a 15. Even Kaleer is sitting here <laughs> staring at the fucking bar. He and we're just like, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Could this be love? <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Oh my goodness! All Moving right. forward. <laughs> we all leaving. You're leaving. Yeah. Beard is gonna be writing the Mori's. Just in Ivar in Ivar's head right now. Damn! I told him to get late. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. All right. So you guys are heading straight towards Wheat Valley. Honestly, from all the information we've collected, it would probably be better to head. At an angle. At an angle. Because we're supposed to go north of Wheat Valley anyway, remember? North of Wheat Valley is where the warlocks were supposedly in the direction of. Uh, if you want more information yeah. regarding what's going on, Wheat Valley is the most recent place they've heard from and is one of the more major settlements. Yeah. So if you yeah, want to go there for information and then go north, you could. Uh, do we want to go there first or do we want to? I feel like Wheat Valley would probably be a better idea. Mm. Just so, Wheat yeah, Valley. we can like. Wheat Valley. Wheat. It would be us yeah. inspecting the zone. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to let's go to Wheat Valley. Wheat Valley. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys leave from Ivory Hills. Get heading towards Wheat Valley. <laughs> guys, he's been waiting for this. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> God damn it. Nothing happens! You're correct. It's boring as hell because I rolled a natural one. In fact, you even have fair weather the whole way there. <laughs> nice. He's oh, nice. so disappointed. I rolled a natural he is one. so disappointed. Yeah. Oh, so oh, is that shame I hear, Guru? <laughs> I have been rolling like ass for the last week. The last no. week. Is Listen. that shame in your voice? Over a natural one? <laughs> no, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm just disappointed. Mm, There's a difference, that's, Mad. Mm, that's that's part and parcel, my man. <laughs> that, that is a very different thing, my friend. Mad, don't don't try and get struck by lightning. We can't do shit about it. I'm okay, saying right on. now. You know what? You're right, Mad. You're right. Let me roll this again. <laughs> you not! <laughs> Dog! Still rolling like shit, you still have a good time. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I was hoping for something exciting to happen. I made up a chart and everything. Oh my god. Nice. Uh, during travel, um, Beardrick will be asking um Dean about like training and stuff like that. Is he gonna try and train uh, Black Buck? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, right. How are you looking to try and what are you uh, looking to train this thing with? I don't fucking know. He's asking his. <laughs> hmm. Well, Not bucking in the way of danger. We have no idea what these creatures can actually do. It would be a good idea to ascertain its abilities. I would start with a few simple commands. All right. Uh, I guess whistling for it to come over would be useful. That might be a little too advanced. He does not know that when you whistle, that is what you want it to do. 
where should we start then? I would start with staying. That is very important. He nods. Uh, I guess following whatever his advice is, he'll try to do that first, I guess? Okay. And you're just trying to just teach it as it is? Okay. Uh, roll an animal handling check. Because Zadim's helping, I'll allow it to be with advantage. Sweet. Animal handling. Because that is definitely not his forte. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be responding to the commands that you're giving the way that you're giving them. And it... There's a, there's a silent sort of frustration between the two of you as you're trying to get, just just stay down. And then you'll turn around and start walking away and it'll just keep following you. Mm. you just, I like, cast mm. speak with animals. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, forget you guys can talk to it. I, I just figured it'd ignore me. You have cast speak with animals. Hello. Kind of looks up at you. Kind of like seems like to squints at you a little bit. Looks away from you. <laughs> My name is Dean. What is yours? My name is Black Book. What oh, is <laughs> And thus we have this. <laughs> Warning. Pleased to meet you. My friend here, Viltrek, he is trying to his best. Is. He is new with this sort of thing. What we are trying to communicate is that when he has been doing what he has been doing with the hand motions, he wishes you to stay in place. Why? There might be times when it is more advantageous for you to wait until given a signal to come, such as perhaps when trying to sneak up upon someone. Right. I'm working with what I got here. <laughs> he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> of course. I, I don't think balls can frown. But well, I'm pretty I sure this one is. Imagine this one can. It has a boar's version of a resting bitch face. That's great. So a normal boar's face. Got yeah. It. That doesn't mean that they're mean. It just means they have resting bitch face. Mm -hmm. Hedrick's mean. That's the only fucking correlation we got. You sure? He's been pretty I've nice. I've seen plenty of resting bitch face in my life. Thank you very much. I mean, much. in this game. <laughs> in this game, I've seen plenty of resting bitch face. <laughs> I'm like 38 and a half only, years old. Now. That's the only nearby correlation we got. <laughs> Wrong hands. Some say, some say the mount. What do you mean, wrong hands? Finger to lips. Shh. Stay. I give the wrong signal. Oh, so you have been trained before. Others fragile, but good. This. Do you mean the handlers where you met with the beer trick? Do you happen to have any more commands that they have taught you? Sharp sound. Come. Basically, he starts kind of going over like sounds like basically whistle means to come. 
<laughs> so Beatrix was already like. Falling it, I, I I was hoping that you were gonna like just whistle to see if it worked, and it would have worked, that which would have been hilarious. hilarious. I <laughs> love the idea that this boar is teaching Beatrix. I'm just saying. I'll relay all of the stuff he tells me to Beatrix. Yeah. <laughs> what he hears about the whistling. Like, yeah. So he does know. <laughs> yep. Which. Uh, to be fair, uh, it not only means uh, to follow, but if you do it as a, a double whistle, it's meant to come and follow, which means that he's not hopping on just yet. He's expecting you to, his, or rather, you're, you're expecting for uh, Black Buck to follow until you're ready to get on. Oh, okay. Interesting. You'll have to give me a list. It's, of it's essentially commanders. if you ask me if you can make that a command, I'll work with you on it. Black Buck spent. Okay. Black Buck is essentially not an exactly not exactly a war mount, but he has been mm -hmm. trained as a mount and will respond to usual commands for people trying to just have like a mount to follow them, do as they need to do, without verbally communicating it. Hell yeah. Okay. He's not gonna, you know sit, lay down, and roll over, but... That's okay. Beardrick also does not care for that, so... <laughs> cool. So most of the commands are meant to be more of you are mounted on them and guiding them. At that point, it's yeah. able to just, you know, just has, all it has to do is follow your directions and hope you don't run it into a tree. Cool. Then, um, yeah, he'll test out all the commands just to test them out, I guess. <laughs> yep, you whistle and he walks over. Whistle twice and he follows after you as you just kind of walk around in a circle. You make the shh and he stops moving. Um, he'll look at Zadim and be like, what, does he like e what does he like eating? What do you prefer to dine on? Don't really have fave. Like onions. Of course he fucking onions. does. <laughs> Zadim like nods. Like you know that that meme where uh, it's like Obama and he's like drinking the beer and he's just like nodding like oh yeah yeah I can do that. Making that face. He's like yeah okay. <laughs> Sure. And he turns to Veerdrick and he says, he likes onions. He nods. He makes a mental note to stock onions later. <laughs> of course. Uh, he also mentions that he likes truffles, but that's just kind of like an afterthought afterwards, just like, truffles. That will be <laughs> more difficult to procure, but I will also pass that on. Mm. And truffles. Um, okay. uh, which, right, cool. which uh, just so you're aware, uh, the translation for this is through Speak with Animals. Uh, your mind translates it to that as being the closest thing to what he's saying. Where he's, he's not actually saying onions and truffles, just because they're basically trying to give you the idea of what they're saying in yeah, a yeah, simpler yeah, yeah. term, and your mind has to go, so truffles. Just make it clear that when I'm saying this, I'm essentially paraphrasing what Speak with Animals is telling you. Yeah, this board doesn't know about, like, what fancy. the name of truffles are yeah. in common to, and such. To common, yeah. He's just like, the weird ground mushroom that's. but tastes really good. Yes. <laughs> Stuff like that. Okay. Then, um... But yeah, you yeah. find out he is. He is trained as a riding mount with specific little quirks to him, and he is like as soon as you get that part handled, it's fairly easy to ride him. Hell yeah! Like he has no complaints about your armor, your weight, nothing like that. He just kind of just keeps on going. I received my previous statement. This board is rather well trained indeed. This is working out well so far. Uh, Alright, well, that's the only thing that comes to mind as far as whatever we're doing during traveling. Alright. So. 
as you're getting ready to walk over the ridge leading to Wheat Valley, who would like to roll me a perception check? I will. Uh. <laughs> I would like to... Anybody can do it as far as I know. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would like to roll my home dice, please. Sure, just type it, <laughs> yeah, into, the, type it into the chat. Fucked everything. Yeah. <laughs> I used home I dice and I rolled a one and then a two. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, Don. I got home dice also. Oh no! Wait, what's that? Wait, who rolled the one? I did. Uh, Don did with home dice. <laughs> Wait, uh, Wait for who though? For, for the, 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 the encounters for you guys. For a uh, travel. Is it on? Is it on D100 or D20? D20. <laughs> 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 um, that's pretty good. What, what, what's the perception? Wait, pause, pause. Uh, you can roll perception. He's not gonna tell us what it's for until we do it. Will you allow oh, it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could try, but I, nice. I doubt I'm gonna see. It. <laughs> good. I am. Yeah. We will allow it. Look uh, uh, I see what you put in there. Let me see. Um. You know what? Fuck it, yellow. Are Are you trying to do that to me? <laughs> yes. I mean, I did, and I rolled a two. Well, you get to do it again now. Yeah, so you got to do that again later. So yeah, you get to hold on to that. So, everyone who rolled a see here. I should know that'd be at least three of you. Four of you. Did Bo row? Bo row the twice. Yes. I wasn't Bo I was trying to Bo look for. Bo. I was looking for um Did Bo row? Tara, Virdrick. that's who I was looking for. Tara, you didn't roll. Did you want to roll uh, is the main thing. Okay. If you don't want to roll, you don't have to. Is it one of those that I can choose between a perception or my passive? What's your passive? Eleven. Cool, you won't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, but my my role I don't think is gonna be. Okay, everyone roll the fifteen or above. Uh, you can see the city uh, off in the distance. It's not a massive city. It's it's more of a village, maybe a town at most. In fact, it's probably sizable for what it's supposed to be. Uh, most of the uh, buildings in the area because it's in a valley as it mentions with lots of uh, soft brown colors for the wheat just kind of growing but in the city you notice that there's a few things one is that most of the buildings are kind of this off-white kind of brownish color you guess that they're probably made from something like clay except for one building that kind of looks like it's a bit bigger than the other ones, and looks like it's got splotches of some kind of black across it. What the actual fuck? Can't tell what it is from this distance, but you do see it. Is it a fucking white building? I mean, it's got splotches of black over it, so if it was, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Found oh, the like crazy. It. it reminds me of the mountains. Ugh. Wait. Wait. How? This big, the splashes of white and brown, this standing out from the rest of the architecture. That reminds me of home. You're a very simple man with very simple pleasures, and I appreciate the hell out of it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> By the way, now for this, just like because of the theme, my brain is associating Celestial with Russian, so... <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, perfect. Instead of the Choir of Angels, you hear Russian, Guten Tag. No, wait, that's German. <laughs> First of all! <laughs> I, I don't know how to say hello in Russian, okay? Guten Tag? I, I don't know how to say hello in Russian, okay? So I went to the first one in that kind of accent and my for some reason it went to German instead of Russian that is completely different I apologize to Russians everywhere I am a failure <laughs> oh my 
I'm a, I'm a language. I'm a linguistic failure. I apologize. That that was completely wrong on my part. I I have <laughs> fucked up. You're cool. You're fine. Celestial and infernal is not the same thing. It's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just, I'll just imagine some angels descend. They're just like so confused. <laughs> they just start squatting and dancing. So I fucking. <laughs> She's fucking Slavic music. Oh no. <laughs> no. Beautiful. <laughs> so, moving forward, uh, you guys begin to approach the city. Uh, as you do, you're going through. Uh, there is a, a, a various paths where it's clear that these are the roads meant to be taken in, so you're not walking through the wheat field and possibly damaging the crops. Damaging what's left, because I remember them saying they started burning shit. Yeah, because there are patches exactly. that have been destroyed. Large patches. Uh, mostly seeming to be across the uh, eastern and southern side. Oh. So, the direction you're coming from. Uh, some of it to the north looks like it's been destroyed, but not a whole lot. Oh, what irony! The directions that the fucking people who are wanted to go has the least amount of destruction! That's a good tactic, make it so that they think that you're going in that direction as opposed to the direction you're actually going. Ah! Okay. Uh, entering into the place, people there look... Insight checks. <laughs> they uh, look insight they checks. They look insight? Yeah. I mean, oh, I didn't mean checks. Holy fuck! No, 17 still good. Natural 20. No, I rolled a 10. No, I know. I was talking about Veerdrick. I meant the fucking Jesus Christ. I was looking at the net. I have no home dice with which to roll, so roll 20 will continue to kick me in the dick. Alright, let's see. One sec, rolling home dice again. Shh. Miss Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed. To be unhappy when I roll a four. I'm gonna start trying to roll. Veto. Veto. <laughs> you know what, motherfucker? Reverse card. No, you. <laughs> you don't understand how many times I've done that new enough. Alright, that is a. <laughs> 24. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. It's clear not wanting to roll. Roll inside. inside. Yes. Only if Into. you want to. Looking at the villagers. Looking at the villagers. The townsfolk. Um, yes. Nah. I figured. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, for the three of you, rolled uh, above a 15, these people look overly tired. Almost sickly tired. They've got bags that look extraordinarily heavy under their eyes. Uh, a few of them look like they've got a bit of like purplishness to their lips. When they, and they don't even, like, they'll give you, like, a half glance, and then they just keep going on with their day. Just, the whole place feels muted. Does this remind us of anything? Right, good question. What are you asking if it reminds you of? Any of I, the other towns we visited? Yeah, the towns with the coins. Not like those, no. Oh, that's even more disconcerting. Those towns had, like, a feeling of something being off in certain areas, but not the whole town. This also is very visual. Like, you can see some of these people. Like, for the most part, they would just look like tired townsfolk, and you might brush it off, but there's, like, a heaviness to their face. There's a bit of, like, again, that purplishness to the lips. Their fingertips look a little bit grayed. Like, they, they look unwell. Uh, 
Ah. Said, uh, how much of the town was looking rough? The part that you've seen so far, which is you're just walking in, and most of the people that you're seeing, like they're out in the from being out in the fields or walking closer into the actual settlement, they so far have all seemed to have traces of this. Excuse me, get the hiccups. Traces of what exactly? Sorry. Exhaustion. Back to their eyes, a little bit of purplishness to the lips, gray to their fingertips. They look tired. They look worn. But I mean, they're still up, active, and working. But they look unwell. Can I roll medicine? That's a good question. I'd say if you're rolling medicine, uh, I'll say medicine disadvantage unless you're getting one to inspect and most people will just be like, I'm in the middle of work, I got things to do. So you can make a medicine check. Still good. Still really good. <laughs> You really have not seen anything really like this. The only thing you can think of is it's closest thing you can think of is something like almost like an ingested poison, but nothing that you've ever read up on or checked has anything like this that comes to mind. Um, when you're driving, maybe try to find a well in the city. Why? She's looking at both confused. What is? What? She I've already asked why, because she doesn't understand unless you just shared your thoughts oh. before saying that. I have an idea that maybe water might be cause of it because it's jet and water is really easy to infect the nobles did also mention that there was some weird muck being left behind so that might be affecting them as well if there's one if there is a station like that nearby yeah i figure the whales ain't a bad place to start them of course uh, Navarro, are, is there an inn nearby? Oh uh, yeah, there's an inn that you'll be able to pull yourself up to. She'll hop out the cart. Zadim. Yes. You do me a favor. Depends. What is it? She'll point to the stable and the inn. Yes, of course. Bo, if you want to come with me, I'm going to see if I can gather any information on a well and what has happened. What? I figured we might as well get started while Zadim saddles up. Or yeah, I mean, but why information? There's Wales are usually a middle of the city type thing, so it shouldn't be hard to find. It's for access for most of all. There's people. also a pile of muck somewhere in this town that we don't know because we don't know where the temples are. Unless someone got a map of this place. Uh, not really. They don't have any cartographers who come out here to draw up the place. Is there, like, just a stall nearby? Just, like, or is this a case of go into shops? Uh, what do you mean? Like, like a, like a stall, like selling stall. Is I don't know like what the fuck to call it. Market in the streets. Yeah. Or are there shops, buildings that you go They're into? They're buildings. Dude, I just realized. Mm -hmm. Does my background get an ability? Um. Yes, we will discuss that later. <laughs> oh. Out of all the time I've been playing bow, I never got a background or ability for that background. Rip. My apologies. I thought I had given that to you. Oh, what is the nearest shop? Uh, the nearest shop to the inn. Basically, yeah. Uh, the nearest shop to the inn is a. Uh, 
the only way I can really describe it is like a, a refinery, if you will, where they're selling bags of seeds. Anything that makes me look less inconspicuous, because why the fuck would I be buying seeds when I don't even look like a villager? Brother, ooh, and walks in. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Volvo! Bo does look like a villager. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Hmm, what's all this? Bo's actually gonna try to go for shopping for seeds to see if there's any cool looking seeds. I'll head over to the clerk. <laughs> okay. Uh, they look at you with a very very tired, very exhausted. <sighs> well, welcome. <coughs> welcome. Uh, sorry about that. Hurt, sir. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Just waiting on a clergy to, you know, make their way in so we can get things taken care of. Uh, how how can I uh, how can I how can I be of assistance for you? Don't have a clergy here. Uh, we. We've had a clergy here. Uh, they're a little bit preoccupied with taking care of a few things. May I ask what? We only just recently came into town, so... Ah. You ever heard about the muck? Ugh, it's gross. It's making their, Shakes her head. Yeah, it's making their whole temple have some issues. Last time one of them tried to start scraping it off, it apparently... Uh, Apparently, just started sliding down right on top of them, and that person was buried underneath it. They say they won't oh. be able to get him out, so he's just under there, completely covered. Uh, hmm. So yeah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, they're they're having a few problems, so we're uh, we're we're hoping that they can figure that out pretty fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry again. Mine. Oh, no, don't worry. It's no trouble at all. Do you? Mind pointing me in the direction of this? I have to admit, I'm. He makes a lazy. If you go towards the center of town, it's behind the mayor's office, a good one, two streets back. <coughs> Sorry. It's a big building. Hard to miss. They also ask Do you have a well in this town? Couple. A major part of the city is center of town. A few of them are outside the town, closer to where the. Uh, Oh, where the fields are. Much appreciated. Yeah. Shoo! Yeah, I'll see if I can find some flower seeds. This poor man needs something for his trouble, because holy shit, he's coughing up a storm. Alright, I'd like to buy this one, this one, this one, this one, <laughs> this one, and this one. I'll buy two oh. of each, each one up. Okay. Uh, for them, uh, it is a gold per bag. And it has right. probably good, like, 15, 20 seeds per bag. Um, what kind of things they got for me, Black? Uh, wheat is one of the one that they have clearly in stock. They have some, they have potatoes, they have celery, they have corn. Potatoes! Potatoes! They have tomatoes. Uh, essentially, most things for growing your own little Ooh, is farm. there peppers? Yes. Oh, Christ what? almighty! Did I see them going towards the, um... Seed shop? Yeah. Yes. More than likely, I will you ask, would know that they're around the area. I will ask them to pick me up two bags of seeds. Do you get specifics? Turnips and radishes. They have turnips and radishes. Not onions? No, that would take too long. <laughs> it's not It's not my boar. This is up for Beardrick. And I will... I will uh, is there any... Uh, what kind of pepper? Uh... Pepper. Like in terms of the spiciness? Yeah, it's one of peppers. Jalapenos, chili, you know. Uh, they have two types. Uh, would it, the equivalent to it would in the real world would be chili. The other one would be, I believe they're called habanero peppers. Habanero? Mm, you got that ghost pepper. I'll grab two, ha I'll grab two habanero. Mm -hmm. I'll grab, is there any like pumpkin-ish? They do Watermelon pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. No watermelons. Uh, but they do right. have pumpkins. I'll grab Watermelon. two. All right. I'm actually gonna write this down. Mm -hmm. 
Don, I'm going to DM you a question real quick. Um, hmm. Why? <laughs> so there's like, like that. Would there be what else would I want? Uh, Why are you yeah. laughing like that, Don? Should I be concerned? Uh, I'll I'll text it. I'll text it to you back. Hold on. Oh, Any no. unique foods at all? Other than what else? There is one thing that you do notice that's a little bit different. Uh, it's seeds that are labeled as. Um, hmm. <laughs> Implying there are others. Yeah, that's why I was laughing, Paris. <laughs> oh no! Do they sell those? Uh, yes, they do sell sunflowers. Oh my back! Christ Almighty! <laughs> I'm I, again. I'm surprised that you didn't consider this, Paris. <laughs> Please, God, tell yes, me. Yes. What's the weird unique one? Oh, sorry, go on. No, no, you're fine. Uh, the weird one that you find is. Um... I'm sorry. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to remember the the name of it. Gosh, dang it! I apologize. I, I had this before. Goo, are you about to hit us with durians? What? Never mind then. No. Papa Yale! <laughs> do it. Fucking do it. That's a tree God, species. No. This is a. This is not a fruit. This is a vegetable. God, do not give, like, durian. Why? They stink! Yeah, but apparently they're delicious if you can get past the smell. Yeah. But it's, it's almost impossible to get past the smell, is the problem. Actually, what? Is that also hard? <clears throat> that, that attitude. <laughs> um, timed off beans. I don't know why beans was so hard for me to think of, but that's what it is. Timed off beans. beans? Mm -hmm. They're called timed off beans. And I think is there artichoke? Uh, artichoke is there as well. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll buy. This is what I'll buy. I love how, like, I'm just getting some sunflowers and then both slaps down, like, eight fucking seed packs. <laughs> eight? Huh, that's a trick. <laughs> that's all I buy. Two, four, six, eight, eleven, thirteen. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm getting some... ready to make some stuffed artichokes. <laughs> oh my actual god. <laughs> that sounds delicious, by the way. I'm fucking hungry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It does. I'll buy all of those. And like, do you have any like large pots that I could? Uh, iron pot? Uh, yeah, I should have one. Oh, a second here. Uh, it goes into the back real quick. Kind of does a little bit of stumble, but he manages to make it in. Bo, now that Bo doesn't has a claw, he really wants a hobby. And we're never around a river to fish or a lake. Uh, two gold for an iron pot. Which is he only have one? No, he's got more than one. He's not a pleb. I will buy ten. You will buy ten? Yes. He kind of like stares at you for a second, just like... Oh, right. we're starting a farm in the back of the cart. I'll just take two. <laughs> he'll, he'll give you... He'll give you that many pots. Nobody's. You know, think about it. Bo's the only one actually in the cart. It was at all times, like in the back of the cart. Because that one was so with you, so it's clear. Zadim, if he saw the pots, yeah, would ask Calvary. you to get some for his seeds too. Calvary's in the car. You yeah. can do it too. I thought her was the one, the other horse, since we have you know another horse. No, no. Far I far thought far. we have somebody far. else no. driving uh, Spartacus. We have someone driving, but they're not on him. He's hooked up to the car. I thought we had something else. Mm -mm. Wait, either way, wait, I still have planning. Wait, then who was Vedric? Like, the what? What was Vedric's mount before the ball? No, he didn't. No, he used to sit in the car, but now he doesn't. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, now he's riding on Black Buck. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought this whole time, like, he, like, wanted to... Or was, like, previously riding Spartacus or something. On no! That's... It's not really a good idea to ride an animal that's hooked up to a cart. Primarily because the saddle can't. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, this has been dragging the cart. Yeah. Huh. And then a lot of the stuff we've done does not make sense. Because mm -hmm. we've gotten into fights and used him when he should have been attached to the cart. Well, no. At the time, it was probably more like we'd unhooked him for the night, which is why we could yeah. use him at the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, okay. during camp, like, camping time and stuff. Camp time. Camp. Well, either way, I'm good. I'll come back out with four pots then. God damn, Hazim. <laughs> we got 14 pots in total. I got two for me and two for Zadim. Mm, if only we could have a portable hole, this would be the other greatest use for it other than library. I don't know if there's oxygen in the hole, is the problem. You can make it face the, uh... Wait, what? Like, when it's closed. Oh yeah, you wouldn't close it. <laughs> it's that easy. She'll set the pots in front of Zanim. Mm, perfect. I will pay you for these pots and seeds. So what? I just... She won't accept it. I just wait. How many pots did I? How many plants can? How many seeds can fit in one pot? And we get just for how big they are. Based off how <clears> big <throat> they are, I'd say you could probably get nine if you if you depending on how big the item is. Obviously, if you're trying to grow corn in the back of there, it's not going to have quite as many. I could maybe do two. If it might yeah, it. and a pumpkin yeah. is definitely not going to be more than one. Big boy. <laughs> Yeah, pumpkins are huge. Um, so yeah, I'll buy like four of them. Let's be modest. Okay. Because that'll be well enough, and I'll I'll try to buy some of those like little tags for like for me to be able to keep them organized. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So that is twenty-one gold pieces total. Okay. I'm just setting all my shit down in the car and going to see the site. Oh, Guru, how much is some mulch or some uh, fertilizer? Um, oh, Christ! How much are you looking to get? If you're looking for enough for all the pots or less? About all the pot pots. I don't have to flow it all with fertilizer, but you know, after fertilizer. Okay. Um, if you're looking to get enough to fill all of the pots, I'd say that would be. For good, for really good fertilizer, it's twenty gold. For just standard oh, fertilizer, it's ten gold. Twenty gold gone. All right. You guys are laughing now, but when the harvest comes, you got we could be eating good. <laughs> and yeah. A mosquito. No. Mosquito, you don't want. You don't. You want guys, body. you guys thought, um, you guys thought using calm motion and Xanax was bad. <laughs> Wait until you see create food or water to water my. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I just set the pause and started walking towards the bear's house. <laughs> okay. Wait, calm emotions and Xanax. Calm emotions and Xanax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because I'm curious about this cube. Alright, so you're heading towards which area? Paris? Paris? I guess we're heading to the uh, mayor's Chapel. office. Oh, BR oh she's saying BRB. Yeah, she's, oh, okay. she's BRB. -ing. Okay, okay. I like that Ava Zim comes back and, like, you see Bo carrying the boat like stuff to his in his hand, walking where you just docked. Hey there. Which is like all these materials. Just <laughs> setting it up in the back of the cart. 
Do I recognize what he's doing, though? It's not exactly super difficult once you see him pouring dirt into all the pots. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Zadim puts his pots in there and drones him. <laughs> you also didn't uh, send me the thing, by the way. One sec, one sec. How much were those pots, anyway? Um, each pot is two gold keys. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> um, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> but, okay. um, What's this gross shit look like? <laughs> Kalea's going to ask if there are any dire wolves around. <laughs> what? I don't know who what? she's asking. A random villager. <laughs> well, no, Van. Someone that looks like I don't know. They would have information. Like, like I don't know. I don't know. But I have to be right back. No worries. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I. You know what my plan is, Christ Almighty. Not fully. I want to go investigate this goop. Okay, so you're going to the mayor's... Oh, yeah, the mayor's office because two streets... Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Let me just, I need to just make a quick change on someone's sheet real quick. Because I have a curious thought process. Okay. And I want to see if... I'm either right or on the right page. Okay. So you head towards the mayor's office. Uh, it's a surprisingly, it's a two-story building. Most of these uh, buildings in this area are one-story, but the ones in around the center of this town appear to be two-story buildings. Right. Uh, so we'll head to the street. Okay. Uh, you should heading towards the the site. Yeah. Uh, from. When you reach the um, central plaza-like area, you can kind of get a, a sense of it. And as you're, wa- uh, like, I'm guessing you're, like, looking past the mayor's office, looking at the building in behind, just trying to gauge it. You swear at some points you see, like, as the light's kind of glinting off of a part of the roof, there's no real light glinting off of the black spots. I'm back. Welcome back. Just black. As you get closer to it, you eventually see it's somewhat like that, but it's not goop per se. It it's this almost more fungus looking growth across the clerics area. Is there a stick? No. There's not a stick anywhere. Not even there's not a brick, there's not anything to poke it with. I mean there's you know, plenty of stuff for you to poke it with, but not a stick specifically. This isn't an area with many trees anymore. On my hair what is Navar alone? Did. Unless you followed her, she's alone. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh. I mean, she doesn't really know what she's doing. She's probably follow. Wait, what? She doesn't know what she's doing, so she. Oh, I thought you meant like Navarra didn't know what she's doing. I'm like, yeah, what? Navarra has no idea what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> she just wandered into this. That's why I'm like, what the wait. <laughs> Yeah, we all know Kaleh's the ones that know Kaleh's the one that knows the directions. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna find the longest thing I can and try and like collect a bit of the goop. What Okay. What is this black goop? Uh when you attempt to approach it, you see a person like running towards you like no 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 Okay. This person like runs up just <laughs> just <laughs> just 
to kind of like slowly like just trying to like push you back away like nope please no I you that deep breaths <laughs> did you inhale into the mic sorry <laughs> deep breath what just don't touch that we've already had people hurt from it just please do you know um, what it is yeah that's that's what I was wondering that's uh not really. That's why we're having some issues trying to get this off of here. Kind of keep like it looks at the area you were about to poke, just like, ugh. What does it do then? It. Do people just vanish or? Do, what? No. N I, what? what? We have gotten. <laughs> Information that as soon as someone tried to clean this up, all it did was just crawl over them and bury them. Uh, no, it didn't crawl over them. They were it moved themselves to try and get off one of the scaffolding. It like points towards one of the areas <laughs> where uh, looks like the side of the building, and then it points to an area that's kind of off a little bit. That's been like people like it's basically been uh, the equivalent of police taping it. Oh Christ! Where there's uh, just an area on the ground that's this medium-sized mound. Does it look similar to the stuff that... I, I know this is going to be a long shot because what we saw was mist. Does it look like similar coloring to what was coming off the Shadow Dragon? Uh, not really. The Shadow Dragon was kind of like a, a blackish, almost semi-violet type of coloring. This is just black. Is this similar to... <gasps> it is. The, it is. The, the, the black fruit creature thing that no. spawned and ran. Okay. I asked that because that's what that's why I went there because I'm like wait 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 is this the same as the girl? <laughs> um. Well, what, where is it? Is this thing just in like a patch of dirt, or is it next to some wood, or it's something? Uh, this the black substance or the substance on the ground? The the black goop. It, the muck is like scattered across the entirety of the clergy. Like it, it's in patches, not like coming specifically off of one area, so far as you can tell. It just looks like it was just clergy. The I... cler yeah, the cleric's temple. Sir, I have a request for you. Ah, normally the clergy refers to the I, people. That means the people. You're right. Um, okay. sir, can I ask something? Of you? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast a spell to see if I can figure something out about this, okay? Uh, what spell? Detect magic. I mean, you're not going to find anything more than us, so go right ahead. Is there anything on that? kind of like motions to it. it was, originally there was magic to it, but whatever this is, it's lost that magic from when it was created and is now completely organic. Do you have any idea of what might have created this? There was a person who came through a while back, but they didn't do anything back. specific. They just, I mean, tall build, kept to themselves, just kind of kept staring at the temple for a while. We didn't really think much of it. Couldn't really see their face. It was covered with like this black veil or something over their face. Mm -hmm. Can I just? Why? Um. Sorry. Continue. It just this started happening after they had left. Or a few days after. Well, I mean, it was shortly after, and then there were some people who mentioned that there was uh, some caster-type folk who didn't exactly have the uh, look of our usual sort wandering around. We started realizing that there might be um, people of a distasteful sort walking around, possibly causing this. I... <laughs> 
I obviously I can't say for certain and obviously I don't give a damn as long as we can get this taken care of it's just that we're trying we're trying to split ourselves as much as we can but most of this is trying to just get this into our temple so we can make sure that we're not losing strength in our faith but people here are suffering because we can't fix this so tell me again what happens when something when something touches it uh, it attempts to wrap itself around that person's limb and then progress until it continually just it consumes, consumes them. Yeah, something. I mean, like a stick. I, yeah. Would it just consume it, like any other thing? Or this sounds like nothing I've heard before, does it, Don? Not even red. Not even red. No. Actually, make a nature check. Anybody? What about, what about me? That's ten, dog. <laughs> That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> what, what, would I? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Uh, it, it's the. She said it's in the temple, right? Yes, it is um, on the temple. All of it, or is there some bit that's on non flammable material? Unless the temple is just stone or something. It is a zone of non flammable material. It's all made out of some kind of clay. Okay. Um, Kalea is gonna cast green flame blade. She's gonna gently <gasps> tap her sword on the ground. Uh, basically, attack the ground and make a flame jump over to the black group. I'm waiting for this okay. stuff to be like tar and it just lights the whole building up. <laughs> and the, the person like looks at you just like, wait, what are you? And the flame jumps onto it and you're doing it to the medium sized puddle, I'm guessing. The one that he said a person had no, buried under or not the, the wall. Please. What? You said you attacked the ground. There was a puddle yeah. that I said was on the ground and there's stuff that's yeah. on the building. Which one are you jumping it to? Most of it's going to be outside your reach if you're attacking the ground. The one on the ground. And she would have moved everyone back. <laughs> Kalea, that's the one that has a person under it! Had. Wait. Had. Wait, yeah, yeah. if it, if it consumes things, then it's not going to be there anymore. Or it's just going to be dead. Eef. You're still burning someone's body before they're allowed to bury them. Very. Some people oh, yeah. don't like to do that. I think I vaguely remember that. But it's too late now. How are you going to recover that? So yeah, that is not for you to decide, though. Your flame jumps onto the medium-sized and... mound, and like the cleric, like looks at you, like, "Wait, what are you?" Woof! And it starts burning immediately. Oh! Sometimes I don't like being right. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is one of those times. So I turn to the guy and I'm like, "It's flammable." <laughs> yeah, the guy like looks at you just like with these wide eyes, just staring at it as black, thick, almost like almost tangible smoke is just roiling off of this as it almost looks like the ground is bubbling around it. Slightly. I just imagine both Naivara and Zadim have like their face covered. Just like the, the fucking sideways face bomb like, oh god. No, Zadim is bearing witness to this. <laughs> um, so you're, you're trying to stare Kalea's at it? <laughs> no, Kalea's, not actively. Kalea is um, watching attentively to see what exactly happens to this black goop. At the moment, it is being set on fire at a high pace, and uh, actually, since you're standing right next to it, I need you to make a deck save. Oh, yes. Can you tell me whenever I get dump done dumping the plant stuff and get there? Because that's yeah. where it's going. I mean, you're in, if you're in the cart, you can technically do it while moving. You just have to be a little carefuler, so you could technically be nearby. How? Um, we saddled the cart. Oh, if you saddled the cart, then no. Yeah, yeah I'm done. I'm just gonna walk her. No worries. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Deirdre's at the end. So. 
Mm. Yeah. So the two of you are at the end still. No worries. Mm. 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 I, I made the, the... It's a 12. Um, that does fail. Nice. Mm. Guru, does wild cunning work um, on putting out fires as well? Uh, not this type of fire. Oh, yeah. Lord. That's a shame. Uh, you take oh, five points of fire damage as hmm. sparks of the fire jump off and start like burning through you slightly. Oh! Oh, wow. Um, Kala's going to back off. Okay. But then keep watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the f- that's highly <laughs> flammable. Um. Kali, remind me when this is over that we need to talk about some things. <laughs> oh no. Kala's not paying attention. She's looking at the fire. <laughs> well, so we have found out Kali is a pyromaniac. Got it. <laughs> she. I mean, if that's what you think. She's studying it, I know what she's actually doing, but fuck, that's a great idea to just imagine. She's like, ooh. She's making... She, she makes a small note on the flammability of this thing. Uh, My only fear is that she might try and collect some of it. I turned to the... Cleric, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's like, he, he, like, he's covered his face at this point, because he was staring at it as it was firing up and he just backed off and he's just like jeez what the f- <sighs> I apologize for my friends eagerness eagerness is a good word yes <laughs> she sometimes acts before she completely analyzes the situation I didn't realize I was a person under that. No, no, you did not. Uh, there was a person who was buried underneath it, but he's also been under there for a couple of days now. So, um, if he was alive, he was suffocated within you know the first little bit. Yeah, yeah, probably. So now I wonder if you could burn it off. Does it does it look like the mound is shrinking at all? Is it bone bones? Is it, is it bones? bones, huh? Is bones. it bones? <laughs> is it burned? Uh, you are you trying to look in it to see at the moment? I'm not looking close. I'm looking from a distance. I'm wondering if it's shrinking at all. Uh, well, that's probably she would. It's gonna burn for a while. Been, yeah, Kale had to have been like within five feet of it or something. So yeah, she, she had to in order to green flame probably, blade. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm yeah, sitting over here. At this point, she'd probably be like maybe fifteen, twenty feet away. Maybe. Okay. Safe distance, but she can still observe. You can still see if stuff is being burned away if you walk around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is gonna take forever. Um, is going Kalea to take is willing to wait for hours. This is actually fascinating her. <laughs> She's never seen something so flammable. <laughs> yeah, the cleric's just like, look, I'm, if you wanted to stay here, sure, but we're going to look for a different way to try and do that, because if this is as flammable as it is, there's some of it on the roof that, uh, might burn through and just start hurting people. We what? Plus, it would probably kill people from the smoke itself. You said that there was magic on it before, and then the magic went away. What type of magic was it? Conjuring. Okay, so it's highly flammable and it's conjuring. Does that jar anything else in my head, Don? Nope. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hmm. I'm about to try this shit again, and you gonna smack me dead in the face. Try what again? Don, do I still have a phone a friend line? 
Are yes, you I know it might not work. You're, yes. you're going to try the I know a guy line? No! <laughs> I want to see if sending will work. Oh, sending. To whom? The fucking smartest person I know. The fucking knowledge cleric. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You have sending? No. But I'm oh. right next to fucking clergy. <laughs> That's why I said it's probably not gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Eventually, the clergy, one of these clergy is gonna be like, please go away. <laughs> Eventually. Then I'll leave when it happens. This is. Wait, are this. Hmm? Sir? Yeah? This is, this is a temple, from what I'm assuming. Yeah, it's still a temple. Where are all of you saying if this temple is covered in this? I don't know why it's covered in this. We we still haven't figured that part out, okay? That wasn't what I asked. What, what'd you ask? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... I said, where are they staying? Uh, the person? The people? Uh, the people are... The, the clerics that would reside in this temple. Uh, we've been taken in by some of the people, uh... None of us are in any one place at the moment. We're trying to give back as best we can. So, you wouldn't be able to do anything for me then, would you? You'd be too busy. Uh, pretty much, my yeah. Thought, my thought on this is if they have third level spells, they probably don't have many of them. And on top of that, for fuck's sake, I think they're on damage control currently, so there's- That's why she asked! Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was worth a try, though. We can't just burn it off, obviously. That'll just burn the building. Did anyone else happen to see this from the person? Uh, most of us who saw it were just, you know, a few of us. But so you might have seen this, or you saw this person yourself, and not just heard of it. Yeah, uh, that's why I was. What was? Yeah. Could you make out their build at all? Uh, About yay high. Makes it like a little bit taller, like about as tall as himself. A little bit shorter than clear. Yeah, humanoid build, and they were walking. It wasn't like they were walking around on all fours. All fours with a cloak covering them? No, no, they were walking on two feet. I'm not. I'm saying they weren't walking around on all fours. Okay. I, you didn't happen to catch any features, did you? Not really. Like I said, they were fully covered. That was the main thing that really stood out to me. Did they just arrive in the night, or did they appear in the middle of the day? They walked around whenever they pleased. Morning and night, they just kind of seemed to be wandering around. They're puddles, by the way. Oh! My bad. Yeah, so you would be able to try and do it to one on uh, one of the walls of the building. Uh, I, okay, I was just thinking she might basically her next experiment is she pulls some of the water from her water skin uh, basically just kind of near the puddle mm -hmm. in such a way that she shocking grasps the puddle but through the water basically. So she electrocutes the water essentially. Yeah, and then thereby electrocutes the uh, black goo. Are you? Are you trying to shock and grasp armor? it? She is. You shock yourself too. That yeah, with that logic, you'd shock yourself as well. That and in order there. to use shocking grasp, you have to put your hand against the target. So you're putting your hand on 
the goo. Oh. Oh. Um, I think it's the gauntlet that gives me shocking grasp in the first place. You would lose that gauntlet in that goo. Um, yeah. she wouldn't do that in in that case if it just doesn't work. Um. Um. That's all the info I'm gonna get out of this cleric, isn't it? About this person, from what I can tell. I mean, it's, it's all I really saw, honestly. But he was just wandering, where other people might have seen him. Like, like say he went through the marketplace. Yeah. Wonderful. Today I'm gonna go question some stall for some villagers. If you want to speak with him, you can. So, pat Zadim on the chest. Watch clear. Or make sure that, you know, if something happens that she's not alone and in potential danger. I will do my best. <sighs> She'll go around seeing if she can question some people that are just... I guess the shops, technically, are any stalls or people who just kind of hang around the center. There are some people who hang around, yeah. So I'll ask them if they notice any, like, veiled person or their features. No one's able to give you an uh, answer on that. Son of a bitch. They all say, like, I mean, there was a, you know, the only person who really, you know, stood out to us was that there was a figure who was completely cloaked and... I mean, they basically were always fully covered, so... No one managed to catch this fucker's face. No one... No one you speak with fuck? is able to, no. How the actual fuck? Oh. She'll just head back to the end. Okay. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I'll head to the well. And I'll see if I can ritual cast detect magic. Just see if something's affecting it. Like the central well. Central well? Yeah, they said there was a well in the center of town. Okay. Yep, you can go over there. Can't just straight cast detect magic, unfortunately, so... So you're, like, looking, trying to look down into it, or...? I'll look down at it and see if I spot anything. Make a perception check. Seventeen. Okay. Towards the bottom, as far as you can see, I mean, the area has a little bit of light that's given you, you know, from the sun above you. So you can see a little bit down there. You can see where the, you know, the water is just kind of like brushing up against the side of the stone walls of the well. And there's a few areas where you see it's a little bit darker, maybe more shadowed. She looks like there's a little bit of muck in there. So is that the water source? Puff. He said there were wells around the outer rim, right? Yeah. I'll head to each well and see if I can spot the same thing. Okay. It, this is going to take you. Oh yeah, I a know while. this is going to take a while, but the <laughs> by by this by the point you get to the well, Bo, you'd have finished filling up the pots. So yeah, you can be wherever you want to be but at this point. You and Veerdrick. No worries. Tyrus, 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 Tyrus. I know, we're, we're going to be yeah. wrapping up the session. No worries. Both waters the plans and then head towards them. Alright, so... Actually, we can end it there so with you guys all meeting up together and you guys being able to give yourselves the information you need. If you guys are okay with that, unless you guys want to do a little bit more. I'm fine ending it. Idea. Can I learn this? What what do you what do you want to know? What's the thing? <laughs> I'm looking so give me a sec. Hold on. Oh, um is Paris is Paris still here? Yeah, I'm sure. Should still be okay. here, yeah. Cool. 
Um, Damn it, and mine. Hey, yes. um, y'all should check your pockets. Why? You should just check your pockets. I'm checking my pockets now, what the fuck? Roll an intelligence check. I'll check my pockets. Why did- wait, why an intelligence check? I mean, everything I seems- seven, by the way. Everything seems fine. I mean, you can look it over to see fully, to see if there's, you know... Sure, I'll look myself over fully? Yeah, what the fuck? look through your inventory and such. Fuck's missing. Nothing is missing. Do I need to do something here? I don't believe so. You can if you want to. Claire, he said you all. Yep. Claire, you're looking yourself over. Yeah, Everything seems said, perfect. No, I fine. said you should, not y'all oh. should. Yep. Oh, I heard y'all. If I said yeah, y'all, I, I meant because I was just specifically addressing Paris. Uh, okay, in that case, yeah, Paris, everything's there. fine. Why? Everything's I fine. I knew the exact amount of gold I had on me, so I'm like, he didn't put gold on yeah. me. Yeah. Why? Why? Took anything? I think he put something on you. Also, this could sound cocky. It's kind of hard to put something on Bo without him noticing you. No, that's that's fair. <laughs> that is absolute. <laughs> I I'm very confused, but the only fucking thing that I got yeah, with the seven, everything looks fine. <laughs> Nash, now I'm gonna be paranoid, and I didn't need that. What happened? Out of character or in character? We'll let in it be character, a, nothing happened. We'll be a, now I'm gonna be stressed. Fuck! We'll, we'll let it be a last thing before we end the session. Go ahead. And yeah, that's, that sounds good. Out of character. Out of character. I slipped you six gold. <laughs> he did you a heckin' bamboozle. You son of a bitch. I reverse pickpocketed you for the seeds in the pots. What the fuck did you do? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I rolled really high on my sleight of hand despite not being proficient. What the fuck did you roll? I rolled good. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled better than your passive. Yep. Oh, Wait, what's you. your what's your dex? Is it plus four or plus It's uh plus three. Plus three? Yeah, even with a nat twenty, if Bo was there you would have saw it. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 If you were there. Isn't that wild though? You can roll a nat twenty on sleight of hand and Bo's still both yep. still watching you like, uh huh, yeah, sure. You think what you get away with that shit? Part? Bo is like, it's like oh, it's gone. Go, go, go. <laughs> go. The best Bo is like Bo's... anti shuffle, please. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Bo wouldn't Matt, have a chance. Matt. Shuffle would be able to beat him easy. You want yeah. to know the best and most horrible part? Yeah. You had to get in there, man. Yeah, you probably he did. He doesn't have pants. I mean, all he has to do is drop it into your bag. Well, yeah, that's the thing. The shocker. <laughs> the shocker. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know where you keep your coin purse, so I probably would have just put it in your bag. Yeah. So Casino is just kind of like six gold dropped next to him and just kind of looking at it like, or her oh. rather, like looking at it like... She's gonna eat it! Oh no! <laughs> she doesn't eat it. Deem. She's oh, seen his finger to his lips. <laughs> doesn't actually go shush, but just... Just quiet. <laughs> Casino just lays back down into the bag, just makes like this. Brunt nuzzles into the bag, you know. Okay. Unless, you're, unless you have her out, in which case she'd be walking next to you, looking around with happy tail waggings. I just usually have her out, so no. yeah. So yeah. <laughs> she she didn't notice the dang thing then. Nice. That being said, that's where we're gonna end the session. I feel like that's a good place to do so, giving you guys a chance to, you know, be paranoid and then realize, oh wait, no, everything's fine. <laughs> like he didn't take anything. Nope. Motherfucker. No, he did not. He reverse pickpocketed you and put it back into your bag. That being said, thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate the uh, support and attention that you give us. We we're small, but we've got a lot of episodes, which means we've put a lot of time and effort into us, and the fact that people are watching this just continues to make us happy. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week, fabulous year, and until next time, 
Uh, if you liked us, make sure to let us know. We appreciate every bit of support you can give us. If you want to follow us to see when we're streaming these things, we do stream them at twitch.tv slash whatdamncomp. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.